Hey there, and welcome to the Max Not Binary. I'm Max. Today we are back with some interesting camera positions. Today we are back in our Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out Challenge, where we are yeah, doing quite well, really. Let's show you. Hello, KJ. Welcome in today. Hope you're having a good one. So, I ran the game for quite a bit while um, you weren't here. Hello, Purple. Welcome in today. So, yes, I ran the game for quite a bit while you weren't here. Things that have happened. We put in a bunch of plastic ladders. Um, we put in some automation here in the uh, industrial brick. But otherwise, we haven't really changed anything in the industrial brick. This is just sort of automation and bins, some statues, not not a load of stuff. We finished filling this, um, so that's ready to go. We built a future bristle blossom farm. Plastic ladders are a good investment as long as you're not going to cook them into naphtha. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, we built a bristle blossom farm and we're actually uh, grooming these here sweetles, which is why we additionally have this drowning pit for them. So yes, that is a thing. Someone needs to actually put these suits in the thing. Devon, who is our newest duplicate, has trained himself all the way up and can now go outside. So that's pretty good. We have some magma. Now, this has gone through one cycle of being uh, active. We could probably start it up. It might be a little bit uh, premature, but we're gonna start it up fairly soon. Um, essentially, when we get some people in, we're gonna start this up and uh, we'll see if we explode it into uh, sour gas, as per normal. Other things we have done here, um, I added a transport tube access up here and got rid of the door. There are these um, powered mechanised airlocks here, um, but hopefully the dupes will mostly take the um, transport tube up here to space if they need to go into space. Um, because of the doors, I moved the rocket platform across one but that, you know, wasn't very exciting. And that's most of what we've done here. As you may notice, we have laddered up the top of the base fairly extensively. Um, so this has all been sort of sorted and sweep commands added down to about the level of here. So the level of the top of the industrial area. We're pretty much ready to uh, go with all of that. So if we need space for anything, we have some good, easy space now. Um, as you can see, the ice biome has now pretty much all melted. There's a couple of bits of ice that have reformed over there. Um, we had some, we had a couple of accidents because uh, duplicates were not filling this water sieve regularly enough. So we've also got a little bit of automation here, just to put some sand in this and keep this going. Apart from, oh, I built the botanical analyzer, but we don't have any seeds that need analyzing yet. We'll have to um, create some, uh, what's the word, radiation for that. I have been taking wart seeds whenever they're offered, so we might be able to set up some of that. I'd especially like to consider getting the Bristle Blossom variant that doesn't require light, so I don't have to bother with lights for the damn thing, but um, otherwise we can just have a little look at what we get. On the other planet, uh, we've mostly been sort of just doing some sort of cleaning and working stuff out jobs. So as you can see, this is a bit more uh, square. <laughs> than it was. We made a, a solar pyramid here. Um, we, uh, the other thing I did is we are, we have switched this over to grub fruits and we've switched away from hatches to sweetles. 
We're not quite ready for all the sweetles yet, but uh, we are moving into sweetles over here. And what we're going to do is I've set up a bit of, um, I've set up another shut off. Hang on. Thank you, Purple Nix. Um, yeah, so this shut off here is to capture some of the sulfur from this system here. So previously, all the sulfur was heading over to the other planet. Now it doesn't. Now we've got a weight plate here which operates this shut off. So that'll keep. I'm thinking we're probably only going to keep. I mean, currently it's just off but we are going to send a green signal if it's below like a ton I think and the reason we'll set it at like a ton is because um, they're gonna take it and put it in here anyway so we'll essentially have 21 tons um, allocated for this asteroid. Um, we might also at some point set this one up. It is currently dormant, so we could do that. Um, so when we also finished uh, the output on this, this will feed into this line here, uh, which is going to feed the what's it over there oil wells. And also these bristle blossoms. We might have to um, keep an eye on this because the bristle blossoms might overheat. This water is going to be hot. Let's see, who have we got? We still haven't found a digger. Um, oh, oh, flatulent. Nearly found a digger, but this one's flatulent, so we're not having that. Uh, we will take this dirt, though we do have plenty of dirt still. Um, but we've now moved away from dirt on the second asteroid, so we don't need any. So yeah, that's sort of where we've got to while you haven't been here, frankly. Uh, these should be like on a nine, probably. It's really important that you refill these, you know. There you go. Nick is in fact now doing it. How many have we got here? We appear to have at least one that should go back to the other planet. If not, no, just one. Just one to go to the other planet. That's fine. <clears throat> All right, then. Let's speed up a little bit <clears throat> and get going. So things that we have left to do are probably space now. I mean, I don't really know how to build a rocket, but eh. We'll have to see about that. Once these start going, we'll fill this with carbon dioxide and we can actually uh, use that carbon dioxide. Everything is looking neat and advanced, really pleasing to the eye. Can't wait till we get to the bees. I'm excited by the bees as well. Yes, yeah, so that, that's mostly why. I, I try not to, when you are away, and I'm playing in the evenings, I try not to do anything that will uh, really impact so you guys don't miss anything. I try and just, uh, you know, do the do the upkeep stuff that um, you don't get a chance to do on stream because nobody wants to watch the duplicants build a million igneous ladders and sweep for like, how many hours did I play last night? I don't know, about five hours or something. 
It's just not entertaining for anyone who's not me. So, yes. That was what we did. I think we're gonna use something... We don't really have any steel. Which rockets do I have... Which rocket engines do I have available? Uh, sugar, carbon dioxide, or steam. I think we're gonna use carbon dioxide. Um, KJ, because I think once we get these going, we'll be easily able to take some carbon dioxide that's produced by the petroleum generators and chuck it in here. So I think we're just going to put a carbon dioxide engine on it. I don't actually know. Have we got enough steel? We have got just enough steel. Um, I realised I had some steel sitting about on the other planet. Um, so I sent it back here. What I do is when you are streaming, I have a world that I play when I watch you stream and for the rest of the time I'm playing on another colony just experimenting and messing up my base. Fair enough. Yeah, no, mine is... I, I've found that I can't concentrate on having my own colony very much uh, when I'm running a colony for um, stream. But yes, we do get to points in streams. Once we get to about... Actually, this is about the normal time. Once we get to the later cycles, um, then I have to start doing maintenance when you're not here or you just have to either we never do any maintenance or you have to watch hours of nothing much happening neither of which is 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 necessarily a good idea so yeah that's what we've we've got going on here so yes i reckon i really like the way it brings this up i do want to think about um what? Oh, I can't build anything else. Why can't I build anything else? Is it from the engine now? Ah, yes, add a new module. We do have to think about what modules we want in this. I mean, the first thing we want to do is just go into space and do the thing. I know lots of people use the gas cargo canister to carry their oxygen. I'm impressed by clay. Had my world kind of locked up due to rockets not working. Clay had it fixed in the latest update, under 24 hours from the error report. That's amazing. I remember you telling me that it had just all crashed. That's really good. I can't remember. Do you remember around what cycle you started harvesting solar power? Oh, ages and ages ago. I think we built the first solar panels before we even had um, piped oxygen. To be honest, purple. I think we, uh, we just came up and built some solar panels while the dupes held their breath. Yeah, they must have, because I found some... When I was sweeping up, I found some uh, solidified carbon dioxide out here. So definitely we had dupes going out here without um, suits. They might have sent the masks up, but I think we just went up and had them hold their breath and build some solar panels. What's up with you? What's up with your body temperature? Oh, you must be too cold. You must be too cold. Yes. Why is it quite so cold again in the base? What's going on? I mean, it is quite cold in the base. Hello, Neo. Welcome in today. As you can see, actually, it's interesting, but on the whole, the map is still pretty cold. So even though we've, um, we've done quite a bit of stuff, the map is actually still quite cold. What is this oxygen coming through at? I mean, the oxygen's pretty cold still. <laughs> oh well, 
There we go. I hope you're having a good day, Neo. Today we are going to fire up a petroleum boiler. I haven't done anything so far this morning. I've just uh, potted around and showed people things. Oh, I built a I built a carbon dioxide engine. But yes, we can't actually do any more of the rockets until we fire up this petroleum boiler. So, should we do that? Should we get it going? I think we have enough magma. In amusing news, you might remember that I built all of this wire Why is what? Neo? I don't, I don't know what that refers to. Remember that I forget everything that I've said immediately after I've said it. Yes, in amusing news, I built this out of copper. Which in general was fine. However, this door... Oh, I can't fire the rockets until I get more petroleum because I don't have any steel. And until I have petroleum to put in the um, metal refineries, I um, can't make any steel because I can't use my metal refineries. So that, that's how that is all going together. Yes, yeah, so you may notice that this door is currently 1700 degrees. That may have resulted in both the power wire and the automation wire that were linked into this and made out of copper melting. So I had a little consider about what places would sit with magma on them. So like this has been turned into steel, these wires. Maybe we should turn this memory toggle into steel. I mean, it shouldn't conduct too, too much, but yes, we changed a, a bunch of stuff around places that magma would sit into steel in the hope that we won't melt anything else we might do but i think we can start linking this up we're gonna make this at like we want to put plenty through but not too much so i think we're gonna start with 660 grams per second which is essentially well we'll, we'll do the devil's number uh, so that's essentially uh, two of the oil wells. We do have to get a jeep to come down here. I don't think that's actually built. No, it isn't. What are you doing? Oh, just building this. Can you set this as well? No. Right. So, we're going to send some... Those seem very small packets. I sort of expected them to be bigger than that. Oh, that's why. There should be a zero on that. Frankly. That is why. So I've done it incorrectly. Not unusually. But we're not applying any heat yet. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to run a little bit of crude oil in. So we've got a little uh, pool here. You don't want to put too much in. And the reason you don't want to put too much in is because uh, petroleum forms a tile at a lower mass than crude oil. So if you have too much oil sitting here, when it all flashes to petroleum you'll get crude oil coming down here and that's not what you want. Are you ever going to do this, people? There we go. Very well done, duplicants. So yeah, we're just going to put a little bit of crude oil in here to essentially sort of prime the system. But we don't want too much in there. We also need to get this in liquid so that it can actually uh, register a temperature and um, manage this door. That is another thing that you need to achieve because obviously while it sits here and it's in a vacuum, it's never going to read a temperature. So you need to put enough crude oil in that um, this can start reading a temperature. And then essentially we're just going to drop the magma on here and see how it goes. 
hope for the best. It is a little bit hoping for the best. Usually whenever I fire up a petroleum boiler, I immediately create a bunch of sour gas. Have I got this sen set at something sensible? I have. So we'll have to get a fair bit of petroleum in here before um, it will start pumping it out. Lovely. Come on. You can get there. So yes, once we get this actually into liquid, we will drop our magma. Ahoy there, Nemetrek. You are just in time for the turning on of the petroleum boiler. Which hopefully will work. Managed to fix my oxygen production. Turns out these warts are crap at cooling oxygen properly, so I made a spaghetti piping through an ice biome. That sounds appropriate. Guess is how much leaks through the walls. I don't believe any should leak through the walls. I think uh, our bigger problem is going to be whether we explode it into sour gas. That is usually the thing I have happen when I turn on my petroleum boilers. that we have the excitement of um, flashing it to sour gas, which I would rather not have. But we'll see. Maybe we'll flash it to sour gas again and I will once again have to break in and fix it all. It will in no way be the first time Right, you are in the thing. As you see, this door opens. We fill this with magma. The filter goes around. Then this opens. And we're applying heat. And we've melted something. What have we melted? What have we melted? Oh, this one. Oh, well, that's exciting. All right, then. <laughs> that's an exciting one to melt. Well, yeah, we already melted this one. I didn't think this door would have enough heat in it for long enough to melt, but there we go. Uh, do I have? Yeah, I have enough steel to do this. That probably means that the automation on it has melted as well. So we might need to fix that while we're in here. Also, we should be able to, we should be able to diagonally build this one. Um, I mean, we could also probably just break in there. One, two. Yeah, we could probably actually, it's probably easier if we cancel that deconstruct. It's probably easier to deconstruct this and get in that way. Now, we almost certainly yeah, need to fix up some automation wires as well while we're here. Steel. Uh, where do you run? I think you just run off this, don't you? Nuts. And now... I mean, you should be transferring the heat, actually, because this is locked closed. So, unfortunately, the crude has escaped down there. Excellent. So now we have power. But we do have crude that has escaped down my thing. We might just have to... What can we do about that? Hello, Kasukin. Welcome in. 
uh, thing we do need to do is rebuild that now. Does anyone know if there's a nice easy thing we can do as opposed to go in and mop it up? Sometimes I go in and mop it up. But I mean that isn't loads of fun. Does anyone have better solutions? Just let the petroleum force it out of the way. Will it do it in the end? We seem to have not exploded to sour gas though, which is my um which was my uh bigger worry. So that's okay. Oh, why would you do that? I don't want you to leave steel over here, people. Steel's important. Liquids like to move out of the way if there's a large enough difference in their weight. Eh, fair enough. We will, we will wait and see. I think we can turn this up now. Thank you, Ada. Yeah. Because it's definitely working. Just a little bit of temperature. The new hot petroleum could convert a contact. Well, we've done some. Yeah, we're just going to wind up pumping out a little bit of, of crude oil, probably. Can you pick this up, please, Neo? Thank you. Right. Now you can build that. I don't want you leaving steel lying around in here for no reason. So all in all, um, this was probably one of the more successful petroleum boiler turn-ons I've had. Everything was fixed without the need to um, come barreling into the, um, the actual boiler. We haven't created any sour gas. Uh, it doesn't look like any of these are overheating. So all in all, Yes. It might not seem so because we had a bit of uh, melting, but um, yes, in general, actually, this was a quite successful petroleum boiling turn on. Kisukin, I am doing all right, thank you. Uh, it's worth, uh, in terms of how I'm doing, I'm going out to dinner tonight, so we are going to be finishing the stream at about seven o'clock my time. What is entombed? Um, the uh, temp shift plate. It's going to be entombed forever, Nematrek. Yes, so I'm going out to dinner. So, um, yeah, we're going to finish the stream about seven o'clock my time, which, yes, is about four hours from now. I have got the suppress mod. Boing. There you go. Does that make you feel better? Apparently it's still going to tell me it's entombed on here though. So much better. Alright then. I hope you are doing well, Kasukin. But yes. Um, I'm doing very well. Everything's going alright. What's AMA? In terms of channel point redemptions, it's an ask me anything. Cool. So, yes. It'll take a little while for us to get the petroleum through. But when we do, it'll come into these tanks. And first and foremost, it's going to come up here and fill our... Um, loops for our metal refineries then we have it coming over here to form a petroleum lock i may or may not do that ask me almost anything it probably should be an ask me almost anything since there are the um it's a suggestion that you need to keep it within terms of service um, and then we'll start the petroleum generators up after that in fact, we may well start the petroleum generators up before we make the liquid lock um, on the grounds that I want to fill this place with carbon dioxide before we bother to lock it in. That is my plan. Oh, we cleared this now. We could start considering sleet wheat. That's what we'll do now. 
We'll start considering making a little sleet wheat farm here. What do I need for sleet wheat? Oh, they got some printables. I still haven't found another digger. Uh, bottomless stomach. I mean, that's kind of fine. You're not quite exciting enough, though. If that was supplying, I might be more tempted by Marie. Um, but with it not being supplying, I, I'm not massively excited. We'll just take some Swamp Child Heart, I guess. Oh, the liquid meters. I mean, what's the point? I can just bridge it on and they won't overfill anyway. Right, let us think about sleet wheat farms. What do I need for sleet wheat farms? Let's have a look. Sleet wheat plants. That's what I want to know. What do you need? Uh, you need to be chilly. Oxygen, polluted oxygen or carbon dioxide. Dirt, water. Is that clean water? Clean water? You outrageous things. You don't like anything in the Oh, you don't like things in the pipes when they're not running? Oh no, I don't care about that. The meters are indeed useful. It's also very nice for filling rockets without having leftovers in the pipes ducts. Oh, they could be amazing for um, liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen then. Because you could meter it out of the thing. And then you wouldn't have to spend so much time running it all the way round all the time. Because it could actually just sit in your... in your... what's it? Water? Outrageous. Absolutely out... this is water. But yes. I'm slightly outraged by the need to have water, but I'm sure it'll be fine. They're great for sending food and reed fibre to other asteroids as well. Yeah, that seems cool too. So, we are going to build um, a little insulated box here. I don't think it needs to be very big. Where are we going to... Oh, we can fill it with carbon dioxide. So do you know what we could do? We could... I think I want them to be able to get here. But what we could do is um, delete this and just let all of this fill with carbon dioxide. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you do know what I mean because it's fairly obvious. Um, so if we build that, you will need a... Oh, cancel. Uh, do we need a bigger space for this? We can just have it on top. We can have the infrastructure on top, probably. So yes, what we'll do is, um, because they can grow in carbon dioxide and we're going to be producing tumps of that down here shortly, we will delete this uh, bit and let the carbon dioxide that's going to flow up here continue to flow on up here and then we only need one liquid lock for the two things because we'll be able to seal that in and um, have the duplicates we could even continue this plastic ladder um, and it could come up this way into our farm Sleet wheat deep freezes at 10C. That doesn't make any sense. I would like to say that doesn't make any sense. I'm also finding the new star map location sensor useful. Can deactivate gyms, etc. automatically when landed. So yes, we'll be able to um, fill all of this. So actually we might uh, 
lock this because now we're going to push all of the uh, what's it up here all of the gases up through here and out up here with our carbon dioxide I suspect actually one of the things we might do with this space here is um, put a bunch of pumps so that we can send uh, carbon dioxide to our rockets. Rocket control station can restrict access to a variety of interior buildings from being used while on the ground. No more Meep using May's toilet or Ruby sneaking in for a quick snack before lunch. Oh, that's amazing. I don't think I've actually... Um, is this on the test branch or is it uh, live? Because I don't think I got an update before I started today. How are you doing? What the? Chat. All hell is broken loose. Why is my Robo Miner dead? Well, I mean, I can see why everything's dead. It's because there's magma everywhere. Rip colony? I mean, hardly rip colony. Just because we've got some sour gas entering the machines once again, yes. Alright, people. You're going to get a bit scolded doing this. Have fun. Uh, actually, one, since they are going to get a bit scolded, like as not, the other thing we'll get people to do is set up some medical beds. Hi Kaylee! We appear to have uh, had a slight sour gas explosion. Remind me never to build power wires out of um, copper again. I don't know if we've even... yeah that's what it was. I mean why was it even over here? I mean there shouldn't have been any temperature over here for it to melt. Ooh, maybe I know what melted and started it. No. Oh, that one. Well, that shouldn't have done any harm. How did the temperature get up here? What failed to bring the temperature up here? The oil went through the walls and broke the vacuum first. What do you mean the oil went through the walls? Oil doesn't go through walls. That doesn't make any sense. It does when it deals pressure damage. But there isn't any pressure damage on my walls. My, oil, my walls don't have any pressure damage. Look at the walls. There's no pressure damage. I don't know how <laughs> that's the whole thing. Look, there's no sour gas in here. This is still a perfect vacuum. It feels like we jinxed it saying it went well. Right. So, so the thing is, right, so I can tell you how this happened. So what has happened is that the Robo Miner, for some reason, hasn't mined this out. So when it's dropped more magma and the magma's become too high, that's um, heated these tiles up too much, vaporized the liquid lock, and then all hell has broken loose. Um, okay, but I can't work out what the point of failure is for this. I know this is broken, but like that will be afterwards. 
the interesting thing is that the power down here which is where there would have been heat initially isn't isn't broken the only thing that's broken here that i can see is that this isn't connected to this door anymore which i mean kind of meh because that should have been debris so it shouldn't have formed extra tiles i mean maybe because it was debris it formed extra tiles did i rebuild the automation wires when i first melted yes i did so the automation up here is you can see the bits where you have steel automation ah i i know what happened i think i know what happened the filter gate melted because it conducted with this that's that's what our point of failure is the filter gate melted because it conducted with this here that is our point of failure because we had heat transfer from the door into the filter gate the filter gate melted and that has caused this chain reaction right yes all steel automation next time absolutely we don't really have enough steel which is how we wound up in this in this position to begin with right filter gate steel uh that way automation wire let's also make you out of steel why not um I'm going to have to remember how all of these go now, but we'll work that out. Right. We need to cancel some, we need to deconstruct some stuff, deconstruct this metal tile. We need to get in here. We need to dig this out. We're going to need to vacuum this side um, and restore the liquid lock. Hey, look, we've got a sour gas boiler. <laughs> Cool. Well, I'm glad I could work out how it failed, because that, to me, is one of the important questions. If we can't work out how it fails, we can't, uh, we can't fix it. But otherwise, this is now fixable. But we do have a bunch of sour gas. We'll pump it into space. Might I recommend closing the top doors using pliers? Well, that might be fair, yeah. That might be fair. Um, so the other thing we're going to want to do is, uh, I think we're going to want to stop putting any more, um, uh, what's it in here for a minute, and we're going to, um, prepare to, uh, is this steel? No, it's copper, right. We're going to prepare to run some in here. Obviously, we're going to have to uh, cool it. We're going to make it a vacuum. Will we have to... I think we might have to demolish all of this. Might have to demolish all these metal tiles. Um, so that we can um, rebuild them. Because otherwise, we'll struggle to get the heat out of them. Even if we make this a vacuum. What's the gas like in here? The gas is pretty fucking hot. So, we do have a question of... How are we going to make it a vacuum? Oh, I know how we're going to make it a vacuum. We're going to build the stuff. And we're literally going to seal it. And then we'll break back in. So, we'll build some uh, pumps in here. Which will have to... Uh, they'll melt immediately, won't they? Hopefully the pumps survive long enough. Yeah. <laughs> Magma liquid lock. Yeah, I know it's hot, Ohms. Get on with it. I mean, they're not too bad. That, that hasn't been too bad. I would have expected it to be... Oh, sorry. You're quite right, Nematak. But, you know, there was sort of important stuff to look at. 
Excellent. That's it. So what have we got here? We've got some liquid copper. Can it not just be tile it up and skip the pumping? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon we can do that. Let's uh, deconstruct this for a minute. Put an insulated tile below the door. Oh, what? To stop this le leaching any heat in? That is a good idea as well. Let's do that. Right, we also need to sweep these things out. So we need somewhere to store liquid copper. Where can we store liquid copper? I mean, we can just pour it in here. If we just pour it in here, it'll immediately turn back into copper. It'll be fine. You liquid copper. Are we, are we demolishing this? Yeah, we are. Excellent. If the metal solidifies in the bottle to empty a little form a tile, that would be fine. We'll dig it out. I had excitement. Um, I built these out of cobalt and then replaced them with steel. And um, they formed a bunch of cobalt tiles. You learned that emptying the magma biome. Fair enough. Oh, Sam Copper has already decided to form a tile. But that is not a problem. Right. We need to do a sweep. Nice high priority sweep. Get all of this stuff out of here. And then we're just going to use some igneous rock. No, let's use igneous. Because it is quite hot in here. I mean... I am not very upset about losing some copper mass <laughs> at this point. To be honest. I just want to fix my boiler. Ah, oh, that is true. Oh, I can't build it on the temperature shift plate. Fucking temperature shift plates. Right, we need to deconstruct it. No, not that. The automation wire is fine. I can build it on the automation wire. I have to build it on the temperature shift plate. Right, this needs some mining as well. Well, on my list of, of things that needed to get sorted out. Yeah, I do as well. But they obviously don't want to. So let's sweep these, please. Because I don't want to lose them accidentally. Yeah, I mean, on my list of uh, maintenance that I was going to need to do was uh, sort out the gases anyway. So they're being... Um, they're being some... What's it in here? Sour gas. Is, is not really a huge problem. Well, this was a new and exciting problem to have with um, with your uh, petroleum boiler. I mean, if we must have problems, at least they can be new and exciting ones, eh? A sour gas boiler. I mean, as I say, it's not unusual for me to wind up with at least one sour gas event every time I make one of these. Come and do these, please. duplicants thank you speaking of the research
There you go. Who's idle? I assume it's over on yeah, it's over on the other world. Unsurprisingly. So we'll just brick it up to there and then we'll fill it with um, crude oil again. Uh, I assume it's not, yeah, it's not super hot out here. I mean, it's hot out here now, but not, not dangerously hot in any sense. And then we'll have to see about replacing all the stuff. Thank you, Ohms. Next one. In fact, we might be able to plan out the replacing of some of the stuff while they do this. And let's have a look at automation first. One thing that they will need to build is these are steel, lovely that since that apparently melted uh, I don't have the picture up now do I of what the automation is supposed to look like so the thing's gonna be here I think this one just goes straight up into the filter gate if I recall correctly Uh, how much are metal tiles? Because we need to make sure we keep enough steel. Uh, so we need one, two, three, five hundred. We need seven hundred steel remaining. be power. Power all fixed then? Yes. So now we need to look at automation. Printables. Cannot the metal tiles... Uh, if it's still really hot in there, KJ, the metal tiles will pick up all the heat and my... Um, No, it's not hot in here. So we could put them in, actually. Yeah, my concern was that it would still be really hot in here. Because if it was still really hot, then... Um, the metal tiles would pick up that heat. And... We would... Uh, yeah, and then we'd uh, boil the, the crude oil lock. They fixed the nuclear waste dupe bug for pitcher bumps. I don't know which one that is. But yes, it's cooled down, so we can put the metal tiles back in, absolutely. Uh, I guess we'll just take some water. We don't want any of these. We might have to... <laughs> set up a culling system for our excess sweetles here. Yeah, we probably need to cancel these and get them to actually do that one first. Right, let's have a look at this.
What is this? This is... Cool. The one FJ used, nuclear waste pops out of buildings, including pitcher pumps. But when pitcher pumps did, so they didn't delete the original, so it duplicated it. Oh, different sort of dupes. Not duplicants, but duplicates. Where does this come from? Does it come from this bit? I think it does, doesn't it? Uh, this... That automation wire should be steel. Because this is gonna gain temperature. get a tile and you get a liquid vent sorry I was quiet for a bit there because like, where is this go oh my god probably be fine won't it I've never used oil and not petroleum will the oil be fine Nematrek I mean I doubt they're gonna heat up to 400 do they because I just don't want them of course it's fine if you're using copper pipes should be fine unless you really push things well I'm not gonna do that so but we, do, we don't want uh, crude oil in here, so we are going to demolish these two liquid tanks. The other thing we might do now is also, we might just make this of crude oil as well, because that's definitely not going to be hot enough. Oh really? Is that what you want to do? Oh well, I'm fine with that. I've personally used crude oil only since the beginning of times. Fair enough. Good. And this is filling. Excellent. So we can watch this for a minute. That's it. That is a lot of water. What, with all my cooling loops? I love a cooling loop, Kisukin. I, I am a great fan of a cooling loop. <sighs> What's beeping? Who's trapped? Nobody's trapped. This is one of those times where you were just lying to me again. Way too much lag. I... My game runs pretty well, to be honest. Um, it is certainly fair to say that compared to what I hear, 
my game runs pretty well. Oh, all right, well, so we can actually, ah, lovely. You are filled, so let's sever that. Cooling loops are intriguing. I love them, I think they're great. Uh, let's deconstruct you. Yeah. Why does it keep telling me that people are trapped? They're doing the thing where they're standing at the door and they can't work out what they want to do, aren't they? Idiots. You're not actually trapped in any way. We don't have any sulfur. That's because this isn't on. When are you coming back on? 20 cycles. Well, that's not ideal. Hopefully people don't starve in the interim. Right, how is this going up here? We haven't got the uh, oil back yet. It's on its way. Let's deconstruct this. Oh no, the crops are we wilting because we don't have any... Um, we do not have any... Sulfur currently. Because... Um... The uh, thing is dormant. Yes, yes, dormancy. Because obviously I set them up just as the thing went dormant. Because of course I did that. Let me give you something to tink. Obsidian. There we go. Imagine you have a sealed gas base. Do you mean just a uh, one way, a, a base that is gas sealed? Like this one, Kisukin? Yep, yeah, cool, okay. That That's pretty easy for me, for me to imagine. I can do that one. <laughs> it's hard to make a, imagine a base made out of gas sealed or not. I, there is always the possibility that, you know, we're having more exciting thought experiments. Now let's suppose how much heat you generate based on machines and duplicates. Yeah, you're not actually quite there, are you? Well, you're sort of there. Why aren't you going into here? It's a bit weird. But there's definitely enough oil here. I mean... Yes, but I think it's... Um, you're, just, you're just being a pain now, Nematrek. <laughs> you know that is not what Kasukin means. Let's say all base machines in Jupiter can generate something like 300 kilo DTU, just for example. Sure. Uh, I'll have to fix that in a minute. It's an example, Nematrek, it doesn't matter. Right, this uh, can obviously go, this can go. Uh, also, I suspect we don't actually want any more. If you pump some cold O2 and duplicates can consume, does it imply um, heat deletion? Oh, this is not a question for me, Kasukin. It might be a, a question that, ne that um, Nematrek or Neo or testing if testing is here have thoughts on or even Kaylee actually uh, but this is a I only do the practical questions Kazuka mostly because that's how my brain works of course it is I 
I would have to, like, for me, I would kind of have to build it and look at it. You're exactly the person to answer. Um, input. There we go. Let's let's move all of this oil that we've got knocking around up to here. Let's deconstruct that. We will uh, join this and let all of these, want all of this oil in this line just to run up to there. We also don't want any oil in this line, so we're going to sever this and sever this and let this go up into that uh, thing as well. Um, well, let's have a think. Do my duplicates delete the heat? If they consume the oxygen. I mean, they excrete though, so it depends what their um, carbon dioxide is. Come here, you. What do you mean, low oxygen? How can you have low oxygen? I mean, you might have cold air. There certainly isn't low oxygen in this base, though. You lunatic. Um, oh, hang on. Yeah, it depends. I assume the CO2 comes out of them at the temperature that the um, oxygen goes in. So, I mean, that they delete mass, but whether they delete heat, I don't really know. I'd say that no matter what the energy balance for breathing hot O2 and exhaling CO2, it will probably be negligible compared to other more practical cooling solutions. Well, yes, um, but, you know, that it, I, don't, I doubt that that's the purpose of, ne of Kasukin's question. I imagine that Kasukin is, is thinking about the um, principles rather than the uh, practical applications. But yes, I don't know what temperature, what controls the temperature that um, CO2 comes out of a duplicate at. whether CO2 comes out of a duplicant at like a set temperature or at a temperature related to the... Uh, they don't need to be resting on anything, purple nicks. If you can reach them, you can build them and they'll be fine. Um, yeah, I don't know what controls the temperature that CO2 comes out of them at. I've never really thought of it. It's such tiny mass that comes out of them. I mean, it is interesting that duplicants uh, delete uh, gas mass because they um, they consume it, but they do obviously create water mass. So, I mean, you, you've got a bit of swings and roundabouts there. Um, right. How are we getting on here? What is going on here? We need to... Uh, do some sweeping in here for one thing. A couple more ladder pieces. Oh no, we can't. Can we have a ladder piece there? I don't think we can because we can't build the temp shift plate behind it. Sweep duplicates. Sweep, sweep. Lovely. Right. Other things we need to do to get this going again. I can build a temperature shift plate behind a ladder. I think I can't. Um, I'm also going to need the uh, one of these. And this one I think I can't build behind the ladder. Yeah, that's it. I knew there was some reason I couldn't do it. It's actually the thermo sensor, not the what's it. Now then, temperature shift plates. Um... There we go. 
a diamond. Thank you. Disconnect the wire from the door before you build the thermo sensor. We still got the insulated tire, tile, nema track. So the uh, the magma can't come through. See. Below. Oh, we might wind up deleting a little bit of magma here, which I'd rather not do. Those external automation cables are a heat resistant material. They are now. I mean, they should never actually pick up the heat. Um, the magma resting on the left tile is going to be annoying. The uh, door will crush it. At the bottom, yes, also here. These ones are steel. They've always been steel. Those ones we, we I already worked out I needed to replace with steel. Um, yeah, the door will crush it. So, we have a full thing. Uh, we will need to reconnect that, but we'll wait until we drop this. I think we're pretty much ready. We just need to... Oh, we need to build the Robo Miner from inside, don't we? As ever. Robo Miner. Come here, Robo Miner. Uh, we also actually need to make a tiny bit of steel. We don't have enough. That'll be fine. But the good news of that is we can turn on our thingy. I don't want to. Is the answer to that? I don't want to. We do have sufficient resources. Someone must have it in their hand. Oh no, now apparently we do have enough. Right, we just need to watch someone come down to do this. Uh, we can deconstruct these, we don't need them anymore, thanks. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Tall shorts, are you gonna start building? No. Just delivering. Fair enough. Ada, are you going to come in here? You are right. Ada, come and stand over here. No, don't give me that, you what name. They're not usually this much of a pain. There you go, Ada. Excellent. Right. Deconstruct that. Trap! Absolutely. It was a trap. All along, it was a trap. Please sweep this up. Um. Oh, actually, uh, and then we need to build this. It's a tarp. Right, you've done most of the sweeping there. I need someone to come and deconstruct this tile here. I mean, you're not trapped, are you? No. Stop, stop lying to me, game. We need to give them some more things to do. Right. So now we also want to do this. And now this is open we 
<laughs> Kaylee, why would you lie to Max? I don't. Was it Kaylee that they were saying was trapped? Uh, what is this? This is below 440. What is this? Oh, this is a bit of ceramic. Oh, did I build that out of ceramic? Uh, that's not ideal. I wonder if we can sweep this before they build the metal tile. The other thing we need to do now is we need to just uh, use the pliers just to reconnect that. Hello, Casa. Welcome in. We are repairing our um, petroleum boiler after a bunch of exciting uh, uh, explosions of sour gas because I allowed power to melt. Was it the power that broke it? No, it was the filter gate that broke it. That was what we decided probably broke it. It was probably this. Automation for the miner. I think it's in place, but it might not be. Whoa. I thought I had built it, but you're right. I had not built it. Nuts. That's annoying. Uh, let me sever you from power for a second. I don't actually want you to do that. You, you did miss some fun times, Casa. Uh, right, let's turn that off for a second. I mean, that shouldn't be a problem, not having power here, because we're still we still need to run quite a bit of heat into this. But we do want them to come down and do that very quickly. We also want them to build this automation wire very quickly. I mean, obviously, this is very quickly in duplicate terms, so when they fucking feel like it. Excuse me. <laughs> but, you know. Lovely. Right, you're automated again, which means we can reconnect this power wire. We can rebuild this. Actually, we'll sweep that out first. Um, we would also like to start putting in more, what's it? Uh, this can go back up there, that can get deconstructed, this all runs around here. Uh, a lot of this can get deconstructed because we've poured all the crude oil over there. Ah, oh, now you see we're getting pressure damage. Because of course we are. Are you gonna stop? Oh, you might have stopped. Yeah. Did you never know there were sounds for pressure damage? It's the sounds of them starting to leak through. Uh, right, we need to build this. Thank you. Ooh, that one's worse. That's a bad place to get pressure damage. Are you going to continue being pressure damaged? Oh no. What are we going to do about this, chat? Um... Right. Yeah, you may not have missed the fun. I don't think I can build it quickly enough. Shut up, you are not trapped. We've got much bigger problems than you thinking you're trapped. When you are not. Right, because I completely know how I can fix this, but... I don't think I have time. Back to closing the door. 
some magma is better than all magma. Yeah, that might be worthwhile. Let's uh, rebuild that at a nine. Let's, there's another thing I'm gonna want to do, which is let's stop adding any more oil for a minute. Apparently the oil isn't flowing. Oh, because this is over pressurized anyway. Build this, Neo, build this. It's an exciting ticking clock, isn't it? Uh, in fact, never mind about that. Hang on, just before you do that, cancel that. Uh, deconstruct these two at a nine. Is not the critical door the upper one? Oh, that's a that's a very good point, right? Let's do a thing here. So we shut that. Right. I haven't built this in the right place. Well, we'll be just about able to sort it out, I think. They should be able to bounce in there. Maybe. What bit of do shit on the nine are you guys not getting? That's it. That'll do. You appear to have created a liquid lock. Cancel. That's fine. We just need a liquid lock. Uh, you'd like to check the temperature overlay? It's exciting. It's exciting. There you go. That's the temperature overlay. Come down here, Neo. That's it. Oh, no, you haven't actually made enough. Well, you liars. Um, I don't really want to drop that bit of magma. Oh, no, maybe I do. You're quite right. Can we open this? Yes, we can. So what we're going to do is... Emadrek, you're not really being very helpful, you know. Uh, we appear to have let sour gas in there. But we might be able to fix that. I mean, this is sealed. How are we going to fix it? Oh, I haven't... That's, that's one of the problems there. Have we let the sour gas in here? We have let some sour gas in here. That's not really ideal. Why is this still open? That isn't the way that that should work. I'm pretty sure that's not the way that should work. Disconnect the oil. The oil is disconnected. Oh, it needs the reset signal. Well, why didn't the reset signal go off? 
No, probably because it's not the whole thing isn't connected. Well, that's fine. I can shut that door anyway. Thanks. Door shut. Hello. Uh, right, we're going to do some very, very dangerous diagonal building. You love when petroleum boilers break down. We're going to fix it. We are going to fix it. I have faith in me. It's so big a mess. It is a great big mess. That is definitely true. Can we... Um, interestingly... Oh, because that exists. I would like to... Well, whatever. Actually, let's let's not bother. We have a we have a minor liquid lock here, so only better is when infinite um, gas or liquid storages break. Kisukin, you are always welcome to think. Right then, my lovelies, let's uh, let's demolish this. Ah, oh, well, this has been a useful stream. <laughs> this is why I didn't turn the petroleum boiler on when you all weren't here, because I knew you'd enjoy this. I don't really understand why this hasn't... Oh, there we go. There's the petroleum. That was what, kind of what I was waiting for ha to happen there. Uh, well, I deliberately make this one in such a way that we can um, demolish it to get in. Oh, no, now we've got more treasure damage. This is bad. What are you doing, duplicates? And why isn't it coming here to do what I told you to do? Kasuki, now you're joining in on the not being very helpful. I mean, you can all feel however you like about it, to be honest. I like it. Well, as long as you can get it running, it doesn't break. I mean, the only reason it's breaking is because I messed it up. Destroy also those two tiles top of stove. I don't know what that means. Oh, these two. I don't know why the duplicates aren't coming to do any of this demolishing. They're usually really excited to come and do demolishing. What are we all doing, duplicates? I mean, are you literally sweeping? Neo, Neo, what are you doing? Don't store igneous rock. Oh, they can't get in here. Hang on. I know what the problem is. They need to build. Cancel that. They need to build a ladder piece there. That's why they're not coming. There's usually a reason for they're not coming. Yeah, I... The only thing I would say about Francis John's a petroleum boiler is that it is very tricky to get started. Once it's running, it doesn't break. Neo, why wouldn't you come and do the demolishing then? 
Neo, what are you doing? Uh, they create, well, they create power. That's one of the purposes of them. Also, unlike the uh, refiner, the oil refinery, which a petroleum boiler replaces, you get 100% of the mass of crude oil out of a petroleum boiler in petroleum. Because it doesn't have a natural gas byproduct. Unless, of course, you boil it to sour gas. <laughs> now where are you going, Neo? What are you doing? I mean, why would you change your mind and not just... Come here. Oh, I wonder if it's because they're a bit hot. And then they're like, oh, I need to go and find a safe place. Right. So, other things we're going to need to do is... We need a ladder there. And here. We are going to repair this and this. What is this? Is it for catcher? Yeah, it's pizza for the late breakfast. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Exciting. Um, Right, I should be able to delete this one without pouring it in here, right? We are going to have to do some stuff with tiling in here again anyway. It was partner, Kaylee. Partner brought... Um, partner brought focaccia. Okay. So they're fixing this up. So I reckon we can just tile in here. I can delete this one because uh, we'll have diagonal. And then we can tile this up. Um, so we can deal with this. And then we just need to go in here and deal with the gases in here. And then uh, I need your help, chat, to think about how we don't have this happen again when we turn it back on. Yeah? So that's, that's what I'm going to need you to help me think about. What is the things that I can do so that it doesn't overpressurize again when we turn it back on? Right. Pre-fill it with just petroleum. So uh, we could probably try and mop out some of the um, crude oil for sure. Uh, there is quite a lot of temperature in there. Let's build some... No, not granite. A couple of igneous tiles in there that you should be able to build. And limit the crude flow. Okay, cool. I would have used obsidian since it's touching magma, basically. We're going to delete them again in a second. There might be a question. Oh, that sour gas is bad. Might need to uh, destroy this liquid vent because you can have gas behind you, can't you? Yes, right. Let's deconstruct this.
Hmm, we'll see. My question is going to be how we get them out again. That might be the uh, actual difficult bit. Are they going to be able to build all of those? Yeah, because they should be able to jump down there and do it. Please sweep this. And this. Oh man, this is giving me a headache. The right ladder isn't high enough for them to jump down there. It is. Delete the one under the magma door first while you can still corner reach it. Oh, that one. Oh, that's a good idea. That is a good idea, Kaylee. So let's cancel that deconstruct, but deconstruct this for a second, dupes. Sorry, I didn't say anything that you cared about, to be honest. Um, quite frankly, I didn't say anything interesting enough that you would have cared. I, I was thinking about how we're going to delete... Uh, now we've got crude state changing. Right, okay, that's fine. Let's get this crude out of here so we don't get too much state change. Please sweep this up. Tell us the truth about the life and we missed it. No, that didn't really happen. I literally was just thinking about how to delete this tile. So we're just going to run this last bit of oil in here now because um, we need it not to be in these pipes for a minute because it's a bit too hot in the pipe. I'd like you to auto repair that.
fix the magma box. Destroy that tile after you have fixed that magma box. This one. Yeah, we're gonna fix- we're gonna destroy this one from in here. <laughs> yes, woohoo plastic, even though we have nearly 200 tons. And that's after I built a bunch of ladders. And- and tubes. Oh, really? I can't turn that. That's a shame. Uh, you can probably finish doing that now. But we will, uh, mop this. We'll mop the crude oil where we can reach it. Um, it's just to create a little bit of extra space for, um... What's it? Petroleum. Now, speaking of petroleum, I want them to build that tile back in. What overheated? Oh, it's the pipe. It's state change in the pipe, nothing strictly overheated. I like the idea of pipes of plastic. I don't like them for a petroleum boiler. Then we'd have naphtha all over the place. Right, we need to find somewhere to pour these things. So I'm going to set up a bottle emptier. Well, actually, we can use this one. We can use this one here for the crude oil. Crude, um, let's say sweep only. And then we're going to sweep this. Naphtha turns into sour gas also. That is true. But, oh, this is all... Well, what happened to the crude oil that we mopped? Where did they take it? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, where can we have a tiny pot of uh, petroleum for a minute? Let's put it in here. Uh, no, we can't put it in there. No, oh, we can put it here. Uh, we just need to uh, deconstruct this. And then we'll put it in here for a minute. And then... Uh, in fact, let's not even bother deconstruct that. Cancel the deconstruct on that. What we'll do is we'll just sever this. There we go. And then we can put it somewhere else after we've put it in here. Um... What am I looking for? I am looking for a bottle emptier. There we go. Build one of those and we can pour that out here. Damage overheated. Oh, the robo miner is overheating. That's fine. That is not surprising. Because we do have some sour gas back here, which we'll need to tile up again. So these are tiles, so that's fine. So now we're going to use, uh, we'll probably just use uh, igneous, but we'll use um, these. How about this? How hot are you? Not too hot yet. So if we can, um, if we can do some work in here, thanks, dupes. Yeah, it isn't that much sour gas. Robo miners are pretty sensitive though, as, as you know. Okay, so we also want to rebuild these two tiles. Um, I'll just leave the uh, ladders. The ladders are, what did I build them out of? Obsidian? They'll be fine. They're not gonna have any problems. So I'll leave the ladder bits. Didn't I, oh. But you are sweep only. Which makes me wonder what crude oil I've got set on a sweep only there, but sure. Um, whatever. I suppose it might have been, but they didn't seem to be getting it out of the boiler. So I don't entirely understand where it came from. But never mind, I'm not I'm not too worried about that. See look where where is this crude oil coming from? 
just just stop wherever you're coming from I don't want you oh now look I mean it doesn't matter too much this should sort itself out that's what you'd you lot told me that it would sort itself out I mean we could also like literally go in and mop it all out piece by piece is that worth the effort chat I suppose we've got the damn thing open so we maybe might as well we think it'll sort itself out oh I see it's like that is it you, you don't want to come over here grub grub nothing good is happening over here um in which case we might go down and dig it all out and mop it all out. Safer cleaning the boiler. Right, all right then. Cleaning the boiler it is. Sad times. Uh, this one. This one. This one. I would not build those two on top of the stove. Well. Too late for that. <laughs> I've built them. What is overheating now? <laughs> yeah, apparently the, the cobalt, um, liquid pump is, is having a slight problem with the petroleum that we're chucking in but you know it'll be fine that I'm not very worried about though that does mean I do need somewhere to put uh, crude oil I would like to say that my focaccia is yummy. I'm not always the hugest fan of, of focaccia, but this one's really nice. Sweep only, thank you. But if we overflow this here, uh, oh, it'll go there. That's not where I want it to go. That'll be fine. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh. Here?
So, yeah, this is a bit of a slow and annoying job, but such is life. We don't entirely have any choices right now. does give me a chance to eat my focaccia while it's still warm which is very nice Right then, so this isn't too bad a temperature. So now we can deconstruct these. If the idea is to squeeze the petroleum outside the pool, we could use some auto doors. Uh, the idea was only to um, get to all the crude oil to mop. That was that was my main thought here was to be able to mop all the crude and then i want to sweep this out while we work in here Boiler attempt three, any guesses how long until attempt four? Well, I mean, it's going to be chat's fault as well as mine now, if we have to have an attempt four. Because uh, actually, you there, cancel that. I don't want to get to that igneous yet, because there is something that we forgot to do. And that is, we need to put a little blob of crude oil in here as well. Well, this died. That's not really a problem. We can uh, deconstruct it. I mean, I don't know what you watch me for if you don't watch me for exactly this sort of thing, to be honest. I also think that um, learning to <laughs> thanks dot thanks for that ringing uh, uh, endorsement there 
I watch you because no one else is online. Charming. Um, but actually, on a more serious note, I found that learning how to fix some of this stuff um, learning how to uh, not freak out and uh, fix stuff is was one of my big learnings actually in in Ollie like I used to just give up bases when I broke my what is all this stuff that's overheated oh what how is there crude oil here oh it's flowed over this side oh well that wasn't what we wanted to happen right we need somewhere else to put some crude oil right let's mop that uh we'll turn you off we might as well let that go through and then we'll turn this off into space? I mean, we could put it into space, to be honest. I mean, I, I don't like to waste crude oil, but we could just chuck it into space out the way. Um, what am I looking at? I don't want any of these. Well, digging and constructive. Of course you are. Reject all. We could put it into space, yes. We could put them both into space, to be honest. Right, have we turned this off? Let's turn this off. Don't bring any more here. Because you need to mop all of this. Get mopping, you lot. Well done. I mean, this is going alright. Crude oil, sweep only, and we'll copy the settings onto this. It's an overproduction. It's um, it's just that I don't really have anywhere for crude oil to go, and because I don't have an oil biome. Wow, that's upsetting. Let's um. We'll deconstruct these. Because I don't really have an oil biome, um, I, there isn't an obvious place to just chuck the crude oil. Like there would normally be. But this is working itself out. Right, we've done this. This needs to be marked to sweep as well. And now we can deconstruct this. Let's sweep these things. I'd also probably like them to dig out a couple of those. Because there's a few more there than we really want. Can I get this door to open again? Because I'd like this door to open so that we can uh, deconstruct this tile. I don't want to cycle the whole thing. Well, this door is not connected, so we should be able to cycle the whole thing. This, uh, did this melt again or what? I suppose it might have melted.
Apparently, I really, really, really miss having Gold Amalgam. <laughs> Not having Gold Amalgam is bloody awful. Right, let's um, deconstruct this. Uh, we'll replace the auto sweeper later on. Uh, how hot is it down here? It's fine down here, so we can build these batteries back in. Yes, Kasukin, you're right. They have to reach to this point. But no, you were definitely right there. So I finished my lovely focaccia. Which was lovely. So now we can have commentary of them trying desperately to fix all this nonsense. See you later. Have fun, Kasukin. Let's make sure they're doing a good sweep in here. What do you mean you haven't got anywhere to put that? You do? Oh, well, I suppose it's in use. That's it. Chuck it into space. Have they done it yet? No. Excellent. Well, that took you a surprisingly large amount of time, but you have finally achieved it. So this can go back on the thing it's supposed to be. We can sweep all of that out. We can rebuild a robo miner. Oh lord. I mean, it's not hot in here. I suppose this is quite hot. Oh, this crude oil's reasonably hot as well. But that should sort itself out. Hopefully they will at some point actually get round to this. Oh. What I would like to do. Oh, that's really interesting because my liquid tanks were overheating there, so possibly I need to make these petroleum tanks that I want to exist here out of um, steel now that we can make steel again. But another thing we want to do while we're waiting for them to uh, empty all of that liquid out is actually get rid of some of these pipes. Steel liquid tanks. Oh, yes. But yes, yeah, since that one got too hot, it seems uh, like steel liquid tanks are the order of the day. To hold the petroleum. 
How are you doing? You're waiting for some refined carbon. Oh, well, let's make some. There you go. That we can sort out for you. Um, you, I would like you to make some iron. That's actually what you're for. And uh, this one we're going to use to make all other things, essentially. <laughs> so that's how they're going to work. This is our iron one. This is our steel one. This is everything else. Oh, they've cleared the bottom of this. Lovely. Because that means we can get them to rebuild that tile there. I enjoy the little hopscotch they have to take to get down here. No, grub grub. As discussed, this is not a place you want to be overly. Right, Annabelle, move in here. Excellent. There you go. Now you, now you can leave again. Sweep this. Excellent. They, we're getting there, chat. We're getting there. At some point, we might actually have a functioning petroleum boiler again. Who knows? I mean, I obviously can't swear to that, but maybe, maybe we'll have a functioning petroleum boiler again. This time I've remembered to put something to um, transfer the heat into the robo miner, which I'm pretty sure I didn't last time we fixed it. Can anyone in chat see any problems with my fix this time? Uh, assuming they finish all of this and get all this stuff out, obviously. Because obviously we'd rather not break it again. What things have we got disconnected? This door is disconnected. That door is disconnected. Otherwise this is all running. Are you set on... You are set on the correct thing. You're set on the correct thing. Let's have a look at the... Only think what I would not do is those two tiles on top of the stove. I don't know, they're there in the design. I mean, I suppose it just means that you need less petroleum in there. I don't know. I mean, I've always managed to work it with that before. Right, we'll, we'll also need to add less um, crude oil, right? To saw it up. Or do we need less crude oil to start up? Do we just want to put as much crude oil in as, as normal? I mean, the heat is in there, so it should be able to handle the heat. Start it gently and slowly ramp up. So if we moved this to like, and then move it up in increments, yeah, KJ? Do you think that's a good idea? Yes, that'll do then. Right, we can actually build this. I'd say start dropping oil and slowly increase volume till you don't get an instant transformation. Excellent, Amenophis. We have agreement there.
So you can build these ones, slowly but surely. They're getting all the uh, petroleum out of here. I think they've finished with the crude oil. I think this is all petroleum now. I mean, theoretically, we could just pour the petroleum back in here, couldn't we? I haven't got a good place to put the thing, though. Unfortunately. I mean, we could put it... We could put one, like, here and just pour the petroleum back in here. It's not going to do it any harm. You can... What? I can do what? Oh my god. Do I need a plumber for this? I have literally never known this. This, this is an entirely new um, piece of information to me, I would like to say. Are they doing it? They are. Huh. Well, I have never... Oh. You don't get to set priority for it, though. I mean, the dupes are on it. Dupes are on it. If only I had known this was a thing. Do you know how much trouble this would have saved me? over the duration of my playing of Oni. I can't believe I never knew this was a thing. Has this always been a thing? Is this new? <laughs> Thank you, Neo. I am amazed by this whole thing. It's been in for a long time. I've literally never known. I've never seen anyone do it. I didn't know it was a thing one could do. But yes, literally revolutionary. Right, we're nearly there now then. That's that's so exciting. That speeds up uh, the stove. Uh, the idea behind the four squares above the stove is the more liquid in there, the bigger the flow of oil you can have because of a bigger temperature buffer. Um, so you're supporting Dot's suggestion that we should remove these... Uh, tiles. We could remove these tiles. It's fine. We can remove these tiles and see how that goes. Why not? It's nice when you mul mop multiple fluids and only want one. Absolutely! But I mean, that's exactly what we've just used it for, KJ, because like, you know, we wanted the petroleum in here. I just didn't necessarily have a good way to put it in. If you drop oil on two squares, they cool off more than if you drop it on four squares. Yes, yes. Oh, I imagine that actually if we do if we deconstruct these, right. Considering that that's the mechanic, if we deconstruct these, we're going to have to bleed more heat out of our magma. So it's going to make it less efficient, isn't it? Have I understood this correctly? To start... Oh, but once it gets up to temperature, it'll be fine. Okay, yeah, alright. It gets even after you, after you sort it out. Yeah, I see what you mean. That seems reasonable. Right. We are going to leave this open at the top here uh, because it doesn't need to um, be one tile. It can it can be open and then we can, if necessary, jump back in here. Um, you got those? You have, right. So you need to do those. We're going to build this igneous ceramic... We could just leave it like that. Once we put an igneous and ceramic here, I do want to tile these two in, but then we can leave it. 
You think too wide is better for the pressure? Um, certainly we should have less pressure problems with too wide, I would say. Right, out you get duplicants. And then I want you to build a tile in there. And then we can just we can just break these open again. Overheating damage at the pump. I mean it's steel? I'm surprised. Oh, because we're not counterflowing. Yes. We're not counterflowing, that's why. We can fix that up essentially now. Because there's no reason not to start it now. Um what am I looking for? I'm looking for the automation overlay. Because we need to reconnect this and that before we start it off again. And then all we need to do is... We'll get rid of that a little bit. Um, there we go. So uh, we should start counter flowing past, which should help. Who is trapped? Nobody. Once again, nobody is trapped. So yes, this should start to cool, hopefully. Yep, yeah, it's coming down. Hopefully we can bring it down enough that it doesn't actually break and I don't have to go down there. Because I'd be annoyed. But... <laughs> Such is life. But it is definitely a cooling. What is broken? Damage overheated the liquid pump, yes. Building broken the auto sweeper, not worried. What a vol of oil intake are we at? Volume, we are at uh, 33333. Three, 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 three. So not massive yet. It seems to be doing fine. What do you think? Can we turn it up? Right, this should be underneath. No, the pump should be underneath overheat temperature now. Yeah, it's stopped. It's stopped overheating. After you get counterflow. How do I know when I've got counterflow? Do you have the consumers ready for the petroleum? Uh, yes, it should be able to run straight into the tanks. Full tile of petroleum on the top floor of the boiler. Oh, right, I see. The, the counter flow up here. Yes, I see. Well, that's going to take a little bit longer because we demolished these tiles. Yeah, our consumers should be ready. Uh, speaking of consumers, we'd like to get this out of here. So I'd like to, um, how hot are you? you? You've calmed down now. I would like to, while it's doing that, I don't want this to be steel. I suppose actually we might need it to be steel. The problems of not having any um, bloody, uh, what's it? What's the stuff? Um, gold amalgam. That's the stuff. Mm. 
we're going to pump out the petroleum that we've got under here. Nobody is trapped. It's a lie. What's going on with their power use? I mean, you're all fine. Stop moaning. Oh, we no longer have any hatches. So that's quite interesting because that means we can um, redesign some of this. So it's going to make it a bit big for a minute. Rooms. It's 105, 107. So where does that mean I want it? 107. Let's delete that. 108, 104, 196. Yeah, here. Deconstruct this, please. You deconstruct this, please. We'll go back to the petroleum boiler in a minute. But you know, there are other things we need to do. So we'll uh, we'll do some of these as well. Uh, right, we need to replace that heavy watt. No, you won't let me. Oh, I hate you, game. I hate you. There we go. There. This can be. Uh, what's it? Then we want to move these down a bit. You get out of here. Go back that way. Deconstruct those. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. Deconstruct those. Right, are you a ranch again? You are. Lovely. Um, so then what we're going to do later is we're going to move this stuff up here and uh, move some of these plants along. Now that we've changed this into a sweet little ranch, one of the things we're going to do is this. Do you know something really annoying I discovered when um, I changed out the mealwood for this? You can't replant something if the, the farm tile isn't completely fertilised because it's like it's not a full farm tile. You can't plant anything in it. I was really aggravated. It, I had to demolish the whole thing, which was aggravating. Right. Uh, well, that's got to be it, right? It's not gonna, it's not gonna full. It's not gonna do anymore. So I'm gonna turn this up now. Not all the way, but we're gonna start by filling it to there. And we'll see how this goes. Let's check we've got this filter gate set correctly. Because that's definitely a reason that I break these reasonably regularly. Well, they don't usually break. They just don't work. It's a, it's a different problem. That doesn't usually actually break them. Um, hello, you. Why? Really? All right. What is the temperature on top of the crude? Like up here, the crude is coming in at like 400, just underneath. Why aren't you going for long enough? Something is broken about my Robo Miner. Oh, I'm running it from the wrong side, am I? Make it 25 seconds? I mean, that wasn't 20 seconds, though, was it? Hang on, I need to look at the automation. Because I think I've done something wrong. Uh, mute this site, please. No, no, do not pin it. Unpin it. Just mute it. It's a completely different problem. Uh, 
can have the way you add. No. No. No, wrong one. Oh, this is wrong. <laughs> right. Uh, this door. That's what's happening. It's not the robo miner that's wrong. What's wrong is the door is going off too soon. Yeah, the door is opening too soon, which means the robo miner doesn't have time to mine all of this out. Because, um, because it's dropping uh, liquid on it, and then the robo miner is like, well, this is a liquid, I don't need to mine this. So yes, that is what's going on there. So hopefully that should help. What jumbo battery is over here? How is there more crude oil here? Where did it come from? Mop it up. Thank you, Amenophis, for the request to check my posture. I shall indeed sit up straighter. Excellent. So we're sort of starting to get going now. Are you pumping yet? Oh, oh. How exciting. It's the very beginning of us actually producing petroleum. Maybe we should set this a bit lower. Do you reckon we should set this at like 400? Because this is definitely full enough. So we might set this at 400 rather than 5. Which is like half a tile of petroleum, because petroleum's what? Yeah, forms a tile at like seven something or other. That seems fine. Now what's broken? Yeah, this jumper battery. Let me deconstruct that. I'd say even lower. Okay. Well, we'll try this and we'll see how it works out. And if we need it lower, we can set it lower. There we go. Why are my coal generators on as a point of interest? Why in God's name are the coal generators on? What are we using all the power on? Oh, <laughs> metal refinery. <laughs> Sorry. Of course, that's what we're using all the power on. Like, why are we using all this power? Oh, yes. I mean, how much petroleum is underneath here? Will we be able to get it all out? We might want to do some mopping, actually. Let's do some mopping. Use a bit of duplicate labour to sort this out. Mop. 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 Sweep. Mop. So less of the pump gets covered. Mm. We might, we might change it. We're gonna have a little look and then we might change it over. I'm in a fizz. Because I'm not actually sure what I should have set that on. I just sort of set it on something randomly. Uh, sweet. Sweet bees. Thank you. Mop here. Uh, we can also rebuild these. Well, they're putting it in the tanks, so it should be fine. Um, 
Oh, except some of it back washed up to here. I mean, that's annoying. Mop. No, I can't mop that now. I need to deconstruct this. I don't mind them putting it on this pump as long as this pump actually handles it and puts it in the tanks. I want to keep it, ideally. So I want it to go over there. Hop. I'm also going to need this one. Very nearly there. What have we got? Choose a blueprint. Why? Building, digging, researching. I mean, you're fine. You're fine, Ari. We need one more digger. You're it. You're not very good. Uh, we're probably going to chuck you in the skill scrubber to start off with. Oh, we've got to 20 duplicates. Um, so we've got no place like clone. There we go. But we're probably going to chuck Ari directly into the skill scrubber because they certainly don't need critter ranching one. Uh, we're going to sweep that so it goes back to the other planet where it belongs. How are you getting on here? Lovely. Sweep all of this stuff up. Mop. There uh, you see. Have another sweep. I wonder how many sweeps we'll need before it actually just goes in the uh, thing. I tell you what we can do. Build a build a thing there. Is there any side effect from skill scrubbing? No. No. They're fine. Mop this. Sweep this. Rebuild all of this, and then we are about ready to turn on our petroleum generators. Excellent. So that is all the petroleum that I wanted mopped up from there. So we are going to uh, deconstruct all of this random line here, which isn't supposed to exist. Uh, not that bit though. Cancel that deconstruct. Because you are supposed to exist. You're supposed to go up here. Uh, let's just sever this before it gets confused and starts bringing me random petroleum. Excellent. And then, as soon as these are filled, we can rebuild this line. Which will fill these and then fill our petroleum generators. Broken, yes, broken sweeper in the coal generators. It, um, it overheated because the um, of the heat of the petroleum above it. So you, we need to deconstruct. Thank you. Because I definitely don't want to pour any uh, petroleum into here ever again. Let's have a sweep up there. Let's have a look at how this is going. Seems pretty stable. Do we want to put the um, do we want to put the full pipe in? Do you think we're ready for full pipe? I think we're ready for full pipe. I think we can definitely have a go. Check the miners. The miners being fine. I, I worked out what I broke with the miner. Is the liquid pump about to break in the petroleum room? There is a health bar. It overheated uh, when the, we poured all the petroleum down here. But now it is fine again. 
because we're counterflowing the crude oil. So it has uh, it has stabilised out at its new at its um, amount of health. If you see what I mean, it's no longer being damaged. Right. No, no, that's okay. Right. You here. So this is nearly full. So we should get the petroleum generators working very shortly. The other thing I would like to do is I'd like to have a quick look at. And we've still got plenty of oil. Because these aren't currently running at anything like full capacity. So um, there is always the vague possibility that we'll run out of oil. Uh, we should not, as long as the generators get going, which they should do any minute. Um, I mean, I've got them on this. We might actually need to disconnect them from the battery so they run all the time. But we'll see about that. And the reason we might need to, them to run all the time is because we'll need the water, essentially. How much have you got in there? Very nearly there. Right. I can't believe we're still emptying oxygen in here. Oh, we don't have any any seeds. I don't really want to suppress that notification just in case it starts to break more and I need to know about it. This seems to be working fine. Um, how are we doing with blending the heat out? There's a lot of heat left in here, so it's going to be a while before that cycles. How long have we got now until this comes back on? So there's only like 15 cycles till we get more um, activity out of the volcano. Mind you, then it'll have a like 12, 15 cycle warm up. So we're about 30 cycles until we get more magma. But that should be okay. Hello, Maverinthia. Welcome in today. You've missed a lot of exciting jumping in and out of a um, petroleum boiler, trying to get it to work. Right, what's going on here? Uh, we have too much power. You see, this was what I was worried about. What do you think, chat? I sort of think that we need the water out of it enough that we want to keep it on all the time. Also, there would be nowhere for the petroleum to go. Do you think we need to run the petroleum generators all the time? Because I sort of think the answer is yes. Or we're going to overpressurize it in here as well, because there's just going to be too much petroleum. It also creates lots of heat. Put a switch on the signal and you can select how you want to run them. Well, I can just alter this. Oh, there you go. They've come on now. Ah, oh, because it's night time. I'd say you should... Until you run into a shortage, you should. All right then. Well, let's set this to. Well, I mean, we have a couple of tanks, but that's about all we've got at the minute. What happened to the thermal power plants? What thermal power plants, Afra? Can you be more specific? Steam? Oh, we do still have a bunch of steam. That should keep them running most of the time. Because as soon as it drops to 90, they should run again. Uh, so they haven't kicked off yet. We're not yet producing enough heat. Apparently we don't have any lime currently. Well, there's not a lot I can do about that. We could maybe go and get the poke shells. Can we sweep all of this mess? 
Um, oh, they're still jumping that crude in space. Yeah, maybe we just need to run them all the time. Right. Which will mean... Do you... Yes, I think we do. I think we do, absolutely. So, I think what we're going to do is we are going to add... Oh, really? I didn't realise it would be running this through these. I wonder if it does anything. I don't think it strictly does anything. Um, what have I made you out of lead? That'll be fine. We're going to run a switch. I'm going to turn this switch on and it will add green to this line and they'll just run all the time. And then if we decide that we don't need them to run all the time for whatever reason, we can just turn the switch off and they can be controlled by this again. We would like this switch to be on. Thanks. There we go. That should keep them running. Nice and clean. Excellent. Right. We may have finally... Touch wood finished the petroleum boiler like disaster areas how is your temperature control on those petroleum generators we have a they're, be, they're made of steel yes they were made of steel uh, give me one second Afra. and uh, we have a cooling loop what we may well need to do is run the cooling room like along here what i've needed to do in the past is actually uh directly cool the petroleum generators right where's my uh thing actually after i'm gonna go and take a very swift break and when i come back we'll do your in real life word ban and carry on um you can all keep an eye on the petroleum boiler for me while I'm away. There you go. You can see the boiler and the generators. I'll be back in one second.
Right then, did the petroleum boiler break while I was away? It doesn't appear so. Let's put on the timer. Um, there we go. So once again, the punishment for uh, failing the in real life word ban is that we have to take the first duplicate on the left out of the next pod. Someone is trapped. I mean, they're not. They just, they stand in the door and tell me they're trapped. It, it's a lie, Kaylee. <laughs> For whatever reason. These lot like to lie over here. Oh, these are all going to turn into um, grub grubs now, aren't they? Do we mind about that? I suppose we don't really mind about that. Let's uh, move some of these things along. Um, but yes, no, it's a weird lie that the game keeps telling me. They, they are not strictly trapped. We can deconstruct these. Grub grubs don't give sugar. That is true. Um, maybe it has something to do with impossible sweep jobs? Uh, maybe a I've never, um, I've never encountered it before. I, I think it has to do with them standing in here and, um, going, sort of wanting to go near the suits. Yeah, I don't know. We can cancel that one. Um, that is true. What can we do about that? Because I want, obviously I want Grub Grub. Well, we could just keep them away from it, to be fair. We could make this back into a hat tranche sort of shape, which would be just to move it there. Let's have a look at our printables. Choose a blueprint. <laughs> now it gives me steel, of course. There we go. Oh, we scrubbed Ari and then I ignored them. Ari, hello. Yes, I'm glad you're running on the wheel. That is absolutely your job. Uh, and no, your consumables will be fine. Schedule, let's get you on a schedule, Ari. Where can we put you? Uh, let's put you here with tall shorts. There you go. Let's get you some priorities. Ari is going to be for building and digging. So that's you. And we scrubbed you. Where are you? So, um, yeah, you can have a couple of diggings. There you go. Lovely. Right. So that's Ari sorted out. This is running. Let's have a look at this. So we're actually providing a reasonable amount of water now for our coal uh, oil wells. Let's have a look at the oil wells. They are progressing. Lovely. Who's idle? These lot. Right. Um, I mean, it's difficult because we want the tents. But we want the sweetles. And I don't want to keep loads of stuff over here. I suppose we could just have it... If they turn them all into actual grub fruits, we could leave it like that. Oh, thank you very much. C. 
second ranch just large enough for one or two sweetles? What, just to keep the sucrose? Is one or two enough for the sucrose we would need? I don't know how much we would need. I win. Two is enough for like 15 jeeps. Oh, right, okay. Potentially then. What if... How big is this? Over here. Oh, wait, we can't tell. Hang on. 20 tiles. How much space do they need? Uh, 12 jupes. Still two is a lot of sugar. I mean, that's fine. We've only got four jupes, so... How much space does a uh, sweetle need? It's like... 12 tiles each, right. Well, that's not big enough then. That is not big enough then. Where could we put them? Haku take eight. What if? I mean, we don't really need this. It doesn't do anything. 30 tiles. I'd like it to be 36, really. Now, oh, well, we could make some... Because I want to be able to have this. Recount. You could extend it up past the ladders. Yes. So this is 30 tiles. But we could uh, use some space here. We could put a door here, use some space here. I want to be able to fit three. Because I want to be able to fit the two for um, food, for sugar. And I want to leave this incubator in there, ideally. Well, I don't have to. I could move the incubator over here. Yeah, we'll do that instead. We'll move the incubator over here. Right, you then. Right, let's delete this. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct this. No, actually copy the settings onto there, then we'll deconstruct this. So. So that's 20. But this is 30, which is plenty. So we can have it like that. Seems like the trapped error has disappeared. Maybe it was that then. I don't know why that would happen, but um, I, I'm certainly, considering there wasn't any good reason for it happening, I, I'm happy to accept any um, solution to it happening we can find. Let's move this over here. What do we think it was? Um, we wondered whether it was because they had a sweep errand here that they couldn't do, Nemantrek. That was Amenophis's idea, that because this was marked as a sweep errand, but didn't do anything, that they kept going there to try and do the sweep errand, and then getting trapped. Sweetle Egg Incubate. Now, I'd like to power these incubators. I thought I was powering these incubators. I think I want to power them. Um, because the Sweetles... Um, Oh, I need to incubate bloody... Hang on, we in need to incubate grub grubs as well, don't we? Because this lot are going to turn into grub grubs. Hang on, hang on. Right, come here. Do we have any copper left? We do. Lovely, make a door. And then, this is 30 tiles. I want it to be 36. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, on the left side of the ranch for another incubator. I'd have to move the fridge. No, left side of the ranch. No. No, this is all ranch now. Near the feeders. Yeah, but then that um, 
that decreases the number I can have in this ranch. And if they're going to turn into grub grubs, then I almost certainly don't want to do that. Well, we could do it. We could have an automated one. I mean, they don't really need to be automated. I think I'd rather make this one into a bigger one. Because, like, we've got a bunch of space here I'm not using for anything. So... So why don't I just use it for something? Deconstruct this, please. Um, I mean, it's going to be weird. Let's see. 31, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. That'll be plenty big enough. You only need about two grub grubs to tend the plants to. Is that so? Eh. All right then. All right then. So we'll do it in a different way. Right. I'd also... Well, I mean, one of the reasons I want to do this is I want to put more plants in here. But we probably don't actually need more plants in here. We're massively... Oh, oh we're not... Yeah, well, we're, we can't store all the food we're producing anyway. So what if... We are going to have to move this slightly. We could do the grub grubs in here, do the sweetles in here, and like life will be exciting. Um, we will need somewhere to auto, auto wrangle them to. So I think we will, you can go away. Uh, they need to be tamed and fed. How are we going to feed them? I can't fit a thing in. What are we feeding them sulfur? I mean... Oh, I can fix that pretty easily. You see this little thing we have here to do sulfur? What if we just drop it into this ranch? What if I move this little thing up to here? We'd need another way of deciding whether we had enough. How would we do that? we can do that we're gonna work out a way so we can groom them here we're gonna set this on three critters move the incubator to the top bit and the only problem with that is that when sweetles that want to be here hatch if they hatch up here the duplicates won't want to move them because it's all the same ranch so that's the problem we'd have there I know what we're gonna do. Uh, which side of that is the automation on? Always important to check. Oh, we don't even need the shut off. Why am I using a shut off? The space to the right is unused. Yes, it is. Why do I always use a shut off when I don't even need one? Because we can just close the uh, thing. a green signal if it's a 
below uh, a kilo. There we go. So that should feed our sweetles on... Uh, you can go away. We don't need you anymore. I decided that you were pointless. Oh yeah, I meant a ton. I said a different thing than the thing I made meant. I set it to what I meant. Right. Lovely. So, that will come down here. We'll use this to judge how much we've got. This is going to be set to three critters. Uh, and we're going to auto wrangle the surplus because we will get a surplus from using the um, thing here and we are going to put said wrangled surplus up here where we can murder them at our leisure this is going to become grub grubs and we're going to set up we're going to move this sweeping so we can sweep the whole thing. We should, I tell you what we should do as well while we're here, we should set up some infinite food storage for uh, this place as well. How are we going to do that? Um, where could we set up infinite food storage? Uh, that can go, by the way put some down here maybe we could do with it being near to the kitchen but the kitchen doesn't need to be there the kitchen can be anywhere else really it's just that the kitchen happens to be there um Well, we could set up infinite food storage anywhere. Oh! Excellent. And right on time, our sulfur geyser is back in progress. Yeah, it's a little bit warm for now, but that'll be fine. So. Oh, we need a sweeper in here as well. That's the thing we're going to need. Oh, really? Of course. How about... Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. Deconstruct that, please. Printables, let's have a look. What can we get? <laughs> More steel. Um, I guess more steel it is. Right, we are getting more steel, so I can, to an extent, worry about the other one later. Look, this is, this is starting to go well. Something I want to do here is we want to deconstruct all of this. We're going to open this up and join these together. And we're going to push this, um, all the gases that are not carbon dioxide we're going to shove them up and up and up and out the top how's the petroleum doing it's doing fine doing fine yep yeah, still got plenty of heat in it everything's happy we seem to be weirdly producing slightly more petroleum than we can get out of here it does appear to be backing up how is it backing up? I mean, I'm running five petroleum generators. Permanently. How can it be backing up? Can chat tell me? Does chat know the answer? Sometimes chat does. 
So let's um, turn this down for a bit. Just a little bit. Um, this is too advanced for me. We'll turn this down for a little bit. Might have accidentally run a wire through one. Oh, the... Yeah, they're all on automation. But, um... We've got this switch here. So, if I show you the automation. They are automated to this battery. But I installed this switch and made it go green all the time. So that they constantly have to run. Unless I flip the switch and then they um, will listen to the battery again instead. So yes, that's that's what I've got going on here. How much does each one consume? Let's double check. Each one consumes... Um, Why doesn't it actually tell me? I have to click on this. It consumes 2,000 grams per second. I mean, I'm not using the output of the liquid reservoir in Emmatrex, so it doesn't matter. Um, so together they are using um, the whole pipe. That's why you build five to go with them. So as long as they run constantly, they should use all of the petroleum uh, while we're here. We can reinstall that. Actually, let's cancel this. I probably want to keep some of this because we don't want to share the temperatures between these two places too much. Might be some rounding error. Could be. Could be. Well, we will. We've put the um, amount that we're putting in down a little bit. Which doesn't seem to have made any difference whatsoever. Check the temperature on the pump. It's fine. It's like a hundred degrees beneath where it needs to be. Even the petroleum in here is only like 120. So that's not a problem. Ooh, look at this used up all the stuff. I might like to do a mop in here actually because I'd like to move the uh, polluted water out of here because once we move that out of here we have a, a bigger range of options of things we can do with this when this stops being... No you don't want to shut it all off because that's how come then when you put it back in you wind up um, exploding it with um, sour gas again definitely don't want to shut off the oil for a bit. Also, if you shut off the oil, then you've got no counterflow cooling. Like, you can't have a counterflow heat exchanger if you put off, if you shut off the oil. We've turned it down a tiny bit. But it is still, um... going up in, in pressure. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll see how that goes. It might not matter. It's a long way from doing any damage yet. What time is it? Okay, cool. So, we were going to do rockets, but instead we spent all the time bouncing into the petroleum boiler. Uh, but we're getting there. So, I think one of the things we're going to do for rockets... Do I have to pipe into this? Oh, actually, just um, we can deconstruct these now. Thanks. This assumably has a gas input, right? Yes. So 
So. Hello, world's most enormous gas pipe. Oh, we can meter this. This might be a, a lovely opportunity to use the metering. Uh, oh no, don't come over this way. Come a different way. Come over here. That's gonna that's gonna go loads better. Let's cancel these. Come over here. Let's bring you in through this ladder system here. And in here we are gonna have gas pumps. Because one of the things that we are creating is Oh, can the sleet wheat overpressurize? That's something I need to think about. Can we overpressurize sleet wheat? Pressure. No. So you can't overpressurize sleet wheat. That's fine then. So we don't need to worry about how much carbon dioxide we get in there. We will at some times want uh, at some point want to cut this off though because otherwise it will be very difficult to maintain this temperature separately from this, which is what we're going to want to do. But I'm just going to fill it with carbon dioxide from down here. Um, oh, but then we can't use this liquid lock, which I wanted to do. Well, we might just have to not use this liquid lock, to be honest. We can build another liquid lock somewhere else. We'll see. Okay, we'll worry about the sleep wheat in a minute. Currently, I want to worry about uh, rockets. We want to build some gas pumps. Yeah, it should never be too hot. I mean, <laughs> I say. Whether it will be too hot, we'll have to wait and see. We can start with two. Because remember, we're not actually trying to deal with the entire output we just want to fill rockets and such like so we don't care so much about that we just want it to fill the rocket so some of you in discord have posted ideas for uh, rocket interiors. Where are they? Here they no, that's not them. Somewhere around here, yes. There are some rocket interiors. Are you... How are you oxygenating these rockets? Are you carrying an oxygen tank on your rocket to oxygenate them? Thank you, Johnny Bononi, or Joni Bononi, probably, uh, for the follow. That's very kind. You make oxalite. I don't have any gold darts, so. You do algae first, later oxalite. So you're not carrying, because I know one of the ways you can do it is to carry with you a gas canister. That, um, that you fill with oxygen and then you pump that oxygen into the base, into the rocket. So I know I've seen it done that way. Overpressure just gives stress. Does this overpressurize? I mean, why would it overpressurize? Yeah, like if you use a um if you use a regular vent, it can't overpressurize. There are various ways to do it. You could make oxalite and put it in a locker. You can put a gas tank on there and then have a hookup inside. You could produce it inside with materials. You could have polluted water from your pee. Oh, canister emptier gives high pressure. I see.
Yeah, but this, uh, okay. Uh. Oh, I thought this had a, um, I thought you could pipe it from here. Does that not work? What do you want in your rocket first? Some solutions are better for long missions. We want to do the R&D first. First thing I want to do is the R&D. You can kind of swim around here as it and get as much in there as you want. If a jeep is wearing an atmosphere, they don't get popped eardrums when gasping for breath. I don't know about all of this. It all seems very complicated, you know? It all seems very complicated. What do I want on my rocket? I'm gonna need some power because we want to run stuff. So can we just build some solar panels on it? They don't provide loads of power. Oh, hello. And a nose cone. R&D can land almost instantly. You can even have food and a bed back on the planetoid. If you use solar powers like that, you need a power hookup inside. Agreed. But I want them to be doing research, not running about on the uh, wheel. So, maybe that? I can't view the interior until they build it. So we're gonna do this for now, and we can argue more about how we should build it in a minute. Quick look at this. Oh, success. We have apparently decreased the pressure in here. Let's turn it up a tiny bit. So the solar isn't even going to produce me enough power. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. What should I put on instead of solar then? No, it won't let me remove the module while they're building it. Orbital research is exactly 120 watts. What do you mean fill it up with big solar? Battery and fill it up with big solar. Oh, what, like, um, hang on. No, swap this for a battery module. Let me remove that module. But the rocket power system is slightly bugged and fliggers if you meet exact amount. I love that, that's amazing. <laughs> I would just like to say that the fact that it does that now is the best. Right, let's put um, a battery module on it. Let's also check what we are building this out of. Can I check? No, I don't want to build it out of copper ore. So let's swap this. Oh, I can't swap it for a spacefarer made of something better. Can we just remove it? No, I can't remove it until they build it. That's so annoying. So they have, oh yeah, they have a power port, right. So, cancel works, I think. Oh, cancel build, yeah, I see. It's so weird, everything else is in the, in the module, and then that's not in the module, and now that's broken. Move it down, there we go, right. Cancel that as well. I, I'm definitely not used to how this new building of rockets is supposed to go. Steel, thank you. No, not there. I mean, I suppose I don't care if it's there, actually. It can be there if it wants to be there. No, it can't be instead of the engine. There we go. It can be there, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
uh, and now I just want to on time. It won't let me add a basic nose cone. Oh, because it hasn't got the engine anymore. Nuts. What are we building this out of? Cancel. Right. You there. You there. Add a new module. No, I don't want to add it above this one. I mean, that isn't going to work. Presumably it won't try and build the engine above. No. It does know better than that. And then I'd like to add a new module above that one, which is the basic nose code build. Right. Okay. This is very difficult. I would like to say that this whole thing is very tricky and I don't know if I like it. So if I charge the battery, do I still need the power in here? Um, do I need the little... Where can I build it? It's in the rocketry, isn't it? Do I still need the power outlet? You need a power socket. Yes. Lovely. Uh, okay. Let me look at some people's... Uh things. Uh D D D D So if I'm doing Yeah, if I'm doing um Oh wow that's complicated research or transport there we go that's what i want research or transport because i don't actually need any what's it what is this thing i don't think i know how to build that yet where's your plug now oh, up there okay right Sorry. They said, though you can charge the battery off the base power. I was not aware of that fact, though. The rocket does not fe feature a wireless power transmission. I, I don't think that's good enough, quite frankly. What is broken now? Oh, God damn it. Where's my oil? What happened there? What happened to my oil? <sighs> right. Never mind. Let's go and have a look. Oh, hang on. There is a thing we need to do, which is, before we do anything else, How do I rename the rocket? I thought you could rename them. How do I rename the rocket, chat? Because Nemetrek paid to be the rocket. You can't rename rockets. But I can rename the rocket platform. Why can't I rename the rocket? Select the engine. Yeah, it's not letting me rename this. Oh my god. Are they already pumping? Well, at least it's currently. I can't rename it, Nematrek. Select the capsule? No. Unless it's in the nose cone, and I just haven't built the nose cone yet. But I'm not sure we can. You might have to be the rocket pl platform. If you connect heavy cable to the rockets, you risk overpower cables in the cabin. Can be handled by a small breaker when docked. You can't rename the rockets. You're going to have to be... If I can't rename a rocket, you are going to have to be a um, rocket platform. Nematrek. Oh, more Paku. 
Right, it's time for Paku. Uh, oh no, we can't get the Paku out anymore. Because I built a thing. Damn it. Well, we're just gonna... We're just gonna uh, open this door. Whatever. We might, we might lose some sweeples. We're gonna cancel that. Deconstruct that. But we can get the we can get the sweetles back, no trouble. You sent some rocket layouts to Discord. Thank you very much. I, I think I'm probably gonna try a whole bunch of ones that people have shared with me until I can find the ones that I like and how they're gonna work for me. Let's choose a blueprint. Choose some Paku. Do we know I have zero Paku available? I've got all of these Paku here. Off you go, Paku. Go on. You can do it. That's it. There they go. Right. We also need to work out what happened. What is going on with my oil? Why is it stopped? Oh, because this is broken. That's why it stopped, is it? Come on, Tupacans. There we are. Hello, Neo. Low amount of liquid, too effective counterflow. Yeah, there shouldn't have been, um, it breaks the pipe. Yeah, no, I understand why the pipe pipe is broken. Um, what I don't understand is what there were holes in the pipe not enough to really make that happen I would say um, there were holes in the can we do this? what bit of life is complicated here? this is not unreachable oh it is because I have to delete that sorry Sorry, duplicants. I want to know what caused the original shortages. That doesn't make any sense, Nematrek. What is a traffic snake? If you set them to 10 kilograms per second, there's no point having a valve. So, um... Yeah, there shouldn't have been a backup here. We have pla- oh well, a thing I could do is this. That's fine. We'll, we'll work that out. Otherwise a double bridge between the reservoir and the valve also fixes it. I don't know if any of your answers are making loads of sense to me. Maybe I, I'm not being very smart today, but... Why... Why is my question there? Why would there be 500 grams under the output of the reservoir? Like, the reservoirs are full? I don't understand. Oh, see, look, it's doing this. Why is it doing this, chat? Is this the bug that Nematrek is trying to explain to me that I don't understand? Uh, because we can fix that as well. I think yes. Right, okay. Because 
because this, I think, is why we got that broken pipe. Because it was doing this. So then you do get too, too effective counterflow. Because the valve lets through 9,500 grams per second. Oh, there's a backup. Right, I see. Why doesn't it fill it, though? Like, that can't be intended behaviour, can it? Like, I, I understand now what you're getting at, but, like, can that be intended behaviour? Because it doesn't make a lot of sense if that is, in fact, intended behaviour. Maybe a longer pipe before the valve helps? Maybe. How much more do you need? A little bit. I'm going to try and do this. I think that if we don't go through the exit, that should help. Double bridge fixes it. I don't want to double bridge it. It should just bloody work. There you go. Longer pipe fixes it. Cool. All right. Thank you, Chua, for the follow. At 9.5 kilograms per second, you need like 20 pipe segments between the reservoir and the valve. I mean, this literally doesn't appear to be true, Nemetrek. I can tell, by the way, it's not true. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I see what you mean. Like, if I was still using the output, that might be true. Yeah, no, that's why I decided to stop using the output. Right then. Come here, you lot. Let's get this sealed up yet again. I mean, this is why people get frustrated with Oni. Because it does do a bunch of things that don't appear to make any sense. And even when you know why they do them, it's still not a lot of sense, if that makes sense. Like, even once you know why they do the weird things, you're still like, well, I mean, that doesn't seem like good design. <laughs> Frankly. It makes sense and not makes sense. Indeed, that, that's kind of where you get once you understand what's going on with it. You're like, alright, yes, but still no. <laughs> right, let's have a look over here because I noticed some sulphur coming through here. Ah, uh, every now and again, they're, they're um, getting enough sulphur on this big because they're filling this one still. Um, it's letting occasional sulphur through to the other planet. I mean, that's fine because it's many times yes then no <laughs> absolutely um so yeah we have plenty of of what's it here anyway sulfur so we're not oh we need to um fix that can i get out of this menu please thank you right this needs sealing this can go away. This can go away. This can get shut. Go on, go on, shut it now, shut it now. Yes, I think we've actually successfully trapped all of the sweetles back in there. Oh no, the Paku haven't made it yet. Jesus, Paku, how slow are you being? Cancel that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't imagine that you might not have made it yet. See, look, now, now they don't know where to go. Can we do this pretty quickly? No. Come on. Before we get some Paku living down here in this little dribble of crude oil. D 
That's it. Right, Paku. Come on. Wow, you're slow. Get out of it. Oh, Sweetle, go back inside. There's nothing for you lot out here. Come on, Paku. Yep, that's it. Do your flopping. Why don't you want to flop down here now? There we go. Times like this makes you want to build an espresso machine for the cheap one that actually boosts speed by 500. On one map, my Pakus lived in my Visco jail airlock. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I do quite enjoy keeping my Paku in ethanol, on ethanol planets. Or petroleum. I mean, the problem with petroleum is it's often too hot, but ethanol is quite a good living environment for Paku. Um, entertainingly. Right. What is visco gel used for? Visco gel makes, um, it makes vertical, oh, Sweetle. Um, Sweetle. <laughs> Please wrangle this Sweetle. <laughs> I assume it will eventually notice that it's suspended in midair. Um, visco gel creates vertical liquid locks, essentially. That's what it's used for. A petroleum would give the Apakus a special taste, absolutely. Just murder it, actually. Whatever. We've got plenty more. Um, Mostly I just don't want it down here eating all the sulphur. Thank you. Okay. Okay, everything seems fine here for a minute. So, oh, they can't build that. Right, let's help them with that. So Nemetrek, you're going to have to be a rocket platform. Or do you want a duplicate? You can have either. You can either be a rocket platform or uh, be a duplicate. Oh, our, um, our engine's full. We are still alive, Emily. You have missed a, an awful lot of exciting climbing in and out of petroleum boilers um, as they haven't always been alive but otherwise we're doing uh, not too badly you'll be a rocket platform <laughs> there you go Nemotrek the rocket platform since Nemotrek can't be a rocket it's kind of sad that you can't change the rocket names. <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought the same thing, Purple Nick, so I decided not to not to read the last bit of that. <laughs> Hello, you lot. Right. You've never deconstructed this? Can you not reach it? No, you can't reach it, can you? Uh, let's deconstruct this for a minute. Why does this say that the filters aren't designated? Oh, because I never decided which um, critter you were supposed to care about. That's fine. Deconstruct the tile over the door. Yeah, we could have done that as well. I'm just going to build some ladders here. Um, we should be fine. We're going to go back to rockets in just a second. But I was reminded of here and that we never finished sorting this stuff out. Uh, I'd like to deconstruct those as well. There's also some power wires here we don't need. Um, but there's also some power wires that we are going to need. So I'd like you to build a power wire into there where we're going to build one of these. And that can be our sweeper for here. Uh, we can have 
a Ooh, oh, you can't be there because we're gonna need to how are we gonna bridge that oh we'll just bridge it over the top that'll be fine bridge 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 there it is so we'll bridge this over here so that we can drop all the uh, unwanted eggs in here also the sugar and stuff You don't want it there, the automation port point is on the cable. Let me have a look. No, you're quite right, Nematrek. That's kind of annoying. No, that's fine, I do want it there, so what I'm going to build instead is a bridge. We're going to bridge this and uh, deconstruct that. There we go. So that's how we're going to handle that. We're going to bridge this automation port. But it was a fair problem to point out, certainly. A bridge! Uh, we'll also need some power. I think we have enough of here. 12, 13, 14... Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, ooh, this is actually going to be too much. Well, that's fine. We can, let's sever this bit, because I don't want to overload the thing, and we'll put these back on heavy watt, just like that. Oh, shut up. It's not that much of a problem, you moany lot. There you go. Get rid of all of that. Circuit overloaded. Well, that doesn't matter. Uh, printables. Printables. Thank you, printables. Let's have a look. Have I literally got coal in like every... Um, what's it for ages? Care package. I mean, I'm happy to take all the coal. I mean, we've got ceramic to make, and we've got, like, refined carbon to make. He started a personal 1 billion calories challenge. How are you doing deep storage, Emily? I've only got 1.5 million so far. Which is... Not very high, frankly. Twenty-two and a half million calories now. I suggest using the tree as deep storage. Well, I mean, that is a thing. Can we just deconstruct this? I mean, what even are you doing? There's like four of you who don't have any jobs over here, so... Right. Eggs. Uh, all. Any eggs, any cooking ingredients. Oh, we need to do consumable or sucrose. I think that's kind of a new, um, a new definition for consumable or. Uh, edibles. Minus 34C, chlorine room, conveyor loops and sensors. Fair enough. Uh, we also want to move the eggshells into there. Hello, Sweetle. You appear to have got yourself free there somehow. Uh, yeah, you don't have any power yet, but that's fine. Uh, we can't really be bothered to power you, so don't tell me about that. Uh, have we built all of this? Let's have a look at the automation. Yes, that should all be fine. Yeah, so it's going to be a little while before uh, we send much more. You never ever use a dispa diagonal access. I despise it. Look at you. Um, that's cool. I think we talked about it before that it's weird the things that like uh, we are happy to use in the game and the things that we're like, nope, bit exploity. Um, yeah, but I think you and I talked about that before, that it's really, um, it's really sort of dependent. 
I'm pretty sure Emily knows that. But I mean, I'm still running my... Yeah, it's a personal thing. I'm still running mine on diagonal, exactly diagonal sweeping. How are you doing in there, Sweetles? You're all right. All right. How are we getting on? Um, yeah, delete this. So in here, this is going to be for um, excess sweetles. So that's going to be like on a five. Oh, we're already storing too many critters. Ah, oh, hang on. We need a door that um, prevents them thinking this is the outside. I use diagonal because you can't do horizontal liquid locks. Fair enough. So yeah, you see, the reason that this keeps is not filling up is because they keep taking it to feed these sweetles over here, which we aren't going to turn into grub grubs. So let's change this to six and change it to grub grubs. Making glass is taking forever. Yes, Purple Nix, it does. Um, that is completely fair. Oh, actually, I need to change it to five because there's a um, an incubator in here. This Will this count the incubator? It won't, will it? Making plastic takes forever. That's also true. Yeah, they're very excited by moving all the sulphur. Um, eventually this will sort itself out. So this is going to be, what did I say, three Wrangle Surplus Sweetles. <laughs> At least plastic production can run on its own. That's true. You don't need the dupes to help you with it. There you go. And we're going to stick extra Sweetles up there. They can come and walk in the uh, base if they want. I don't really mind. They'll do that cute thing when they walk across here, which I really enjoy. So that'll be nice. Wow, you have 12 polymer presses with 100% ups time. Uh, can I suggest Dracos? I think you might find that a bit better. Oh, these guys are cramped. Right. What do you need so much plastic for? Uh, can we rank all this one, actually? I want to put those in here. This is a seven. Yeah, that's only a five. Hang on. No, this needs to be a six. That's it? No, this is going to be a seven. That's fine. Seven. Remember, you've got to cull them every now and again because they lay eggs even when unattended and starved. Oh, that's fine. We'll do the, we'll do the cull. Tiling the whole planet, of course. Oh, fair enough. That is a perfectly reasonable thing for you to want to do. Honest. Enjoy your food, Nematrek. Uh, so I want to set this to a six. What is this set at? Seven. Six. This needs to go... Uh, oh, we can set these at seven, so it's fine. We can set these to sevens. As long as they're higher priority than the sweepers, it's all good. Right then, sweepers. Speaking of sweepers, we need to sort this out. It's 
so we can use some sweepers along the entire thing. You can't actually reach that one, can you? No. So yeah, a little bit of maintenance over here and then we're going to go back to rockets. I mean, I don't really care if you lot are cramped, to be honest, sweetles. 14.5 tons of plastic per row takes a while. Yes, yes, I can imagine. So, hang on, where do you go to? Here. Why am I running? Oh, who cares where I'm running it through? I'll be fine. Do -do -do. Right, we want another one of those. Just there. And then there. And just one more of these. Oh, now you see, now we're going to have to move it. Come here, you. We're going to have to move you up here. And I think we're going to bring you back down there. Because you can't run through the green. Deconstruct all of this and all of this. Lovely. Spinning up Draco farms, go eggs from printer. Seems reasonable. Already killed a few time my farms. Ah, do you know what? I think I do want the, um, I think I do want this. Hello, I'm Fonda. Welcome in today. We're having a whole day of me mucking stuff up, mostly. But that's, that's been fairly entertaining. I think we're going to do this instead. We deconstruct that one. I mean, you're on the power, so that'll be fine. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um... Well, I think the same as this should be fine. Let's just copy that. exploding things. Yeah, we did a little bit of exploding things. I mean, there was only a few sour gas explosions. It wasn't like the most explodey of all things. But yes, there certainly were, was a little bit of explosion. Yeah, so we're not going to feed these from a feeder. We're just going to drop their food on the floor. And, um... Well, we can leave them to build this now. That's sort of done. Uh, let's have a look at the other one. So yes, we had some explosions because we've been turning on our sour gas... Oh, <laughs> well, unfortunately, occasionally a sour gas boiler, which isn't entirely what we wanted to happen. Um, that's a bit hotter than I would have expected it to be. Have we reconnected all of this? Yes. Okay. Should be all right. See, now here is why you want to make sure that you spin up enough magma. Because um, it's very viscous, so it doesn't flow very well. So without the pressure behind it, you get stuff like this happen. If you see what I mean. Where it's not pushing itself into the drop-off point. So that's why you want to make sure you have plenty. As you can see, ours is going to come back pretty soon. And then it'll start erupting again. Uh, no, that's fine. That's all... Um... Oh, actually... Do you know what I'd like to do? While... Let's turn these off. 
for a second. While this isn't active, I was thinking I'd quite like to make this into a, a proper tank because how, when are you active again well, we've got plenty of time um uh because why not and then we could delete all of this stuff and get rid of it so i think we're going to make this a proper tank uh we might use we probably don't need we can probably just use granite to be honest but what i'm going to do is I'm gonna make it a nice straight tank like this just up to there let's cancel that and cancel these so that the rest of this can be open how will you build the treads can you explain is this a joke i am not getting why is there polluted water in here again did we not just mop this don't want any polluted water in here. Right, mop that, because I want the polluted water out of here. See, nobody's trapped. Now you're standing there again though, aren't you? Being like, oh, we're trapped, when actually you just don't have anything to do. Ugh, nonsense. Stuff and indeed nonsense. Right, you copy that onto here. Also, hello, Chthonic one. There we go. And we'll leave some grub grubs in here to tend this. We'll have some sweetles over here um, to create sugar. And we're good to go. I think, I think I've made this work now. I mean, uh, we will want to build some infinite food over here. I'm sure it'll be diesel, of course. No tank would be gasoline powered, but wheeled tanks are silly. Oh, oh, I see that sort of tank. Yes. I mean, I don't really have any diesel. I do have quite a lot of petroleum, though. <laughs> but yes, I understand the joke now. You know I'm not very good at jokes. Um, right. We are short of lime. It's easier to change a tyre than a tank tread. That is true. Shall we take a poke shell spawn and consider making well we're gonna anyway hello poke shell we might make you a ranch where could we make you a ranch we can make you a ranch down here you'll only be moderately hello oves a lot i hope you have had a lovely lurk will you yeah you might get moderately irradiated down here but you'll be fine poke shell we might build you a little ranch down here How is this going? This is going pretty well. Um, so I just want to push this carbon dioxide up into here and um, then we can seal this off and build a different way in. It's also easier to get road certified with wheels. <laughs> that is that is also true. There is, a, there is some truth being spoken here. What What is disabled? Nematrek, you are disabled. I mean, that sounds terrible, but it says you're disabled. Why is the building... Let's enable the building. I don't know why Nematrek has become disabled. Crew, all crew boarded, non-crew exited, destination set. How do I set a destination, chat? Because, like, I don't get a rocket list. So, how do I set the destination? 
I mean, obviously we're not ready to go anywhere yet, but I, I would be interested in knowing how I do this. Click on the rocket control panel. This? Select the control O inside the module. Oh, view the interior. Uh, destination unselected. Change? Oh. How do I know where I want to go? To do the research. I want to go out here first because there's a thing. Yeah? So I think I want to do research all around the outside. Am I right about that? You can go anywhere to do the research. Know that you have a four tile range. So I go out here and then they research around. I mean, you can go two tiles out and two tiles back. Oh, so I can only go to this ring to do the research for now. Yes, no. <laughs> Orbit doesn't count. One, two. Orbit doesn't count? So this doesn't count. This is orbit, is it? Research or telescope? Just research needs you in space. Would this be orbit? This is a whole new thing. I don't know how any of this works. You can go to my current edge. I, I trust Emily. We're going there. I mean, obviously we're not ready to go there. But um, that's where we're going to go. I want to have a, a thing set. Right, let's go back to this. Don't go. Why is it doing that? <laughs> it can't actually go, right? Yeah, because I don't have a pilot. So none of that. Uh, we want to fill up the battery. Um, this might require some steel so we don't melt it. Will it? We're gonna see. Orbit is the purple thing. You can launch to or land from orbit to free. So that doesn't count for your range. Hence the... Um, Orbit does count as space for research, though. Lift on of landing to from orbit is free. Doesn't count as a tile. This is why you can, like, uh, produce, like, infinite heat or infinite rads or all of that stuff, yeah? Right. Now then. In my Discord. Uh, can I... Can I open this? Open image in new tab? Lovely. We're going to build, uh, I think this is one of Neo's designs. We're going to build Neo's design first. Neo's design appears to have a building that I don't think I'm able to build yet. That's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. Absolutely. You're also going to overload the wires inside. You don't have any wires inside. You can tell because when I uh, view the interior, there ain't nothing in it. <laughs> so, um, should be fine. Do we need a transformer? Then? Is that a thing we're gonna need? If I want to run it from the battery? People are unhelpful. Right. What is this? I don't know what that is. Right, okay. Well, we're just gonna build some stuff that I can see on the picture. And then I'm going to worry. Liquid intake fitting. Have you got these? Neo, are you around? Because, like, I'm trying to copy your thing and you appear to have a bunch of stuff that I don't know what you're doing with them. When a rocket lands with no fuel left, no heat exhaust is produced. The rocket plug counts as being part of 
the network the battery is connected to. So if it's above two kilowatts, you can burn the wires inside. Why does it say I can't build it? You don't think any heat is produced by the CO2 rocket, just CO2. I mean, I definitely don't have the first idea what I'm doing here. Because it's bugged. Also, it's unreachable. Well, that's fine. It is unreachable. That's, that's not really a problem. I'm not too worried about that just yet. <laughs> I'm more worried about the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing. See, this is a gas intake. Neo's got a gas thing attached here, I think. I'm just going to do what it is. If we have to remove the battery, well, whatever. If I show you the insides, then you can all help me with what modules I might actually need <laughs> to make this work. Can we have copper? I want to have copper. It's prettier. It's a graphical bulk. Dupes will still build it if they can reach it. That is fine. Oh, it says that everything is um, is we don't have the duplicate skill. Is that because it views the um, rocket as a different world and we're not in that world? That could be it, couldn't it? Yep. So, as I say, I'm just copying out Neo's one. If you, uh, if people want to look in the Discord at which one I'm copying, <laughs> that seems excellent. Uh, do go to the Discord. You'll have to scroll up a little bit in um, the Oni channel. There are a bunch of stuff under spoiler tags. This one is, let me close that. This one is uh, posted by Neo Deus Machina and it's the research transport one um so yes if you if you would like to see what i am attempting to build you can have a look there um so there's a fridge there door mesh mesh door uh, fridge. I haven't really got any proper um, space food yet. Oh, I wonder if we're producing enough water. Hang on, I want to. I want to go and look at something else now because I want to see if. What's up with you? Are you too cold again? How cold is it in here? Oh, it's just under twenty. <laughs> we do have problems with it being too cold you there are you ever getting any water oh you also don't have any illumination but you're not getting any water should this be backing up let me look at the uh, other planet other planet oil wells how much water do you use? Uh, you use... No. You shouldn't be backing up, theoretically. No, but you are gonna. Because actually we're using more than will come from that. But it does look like you are very slowly backing up this side. Interesting. Because we should actually be using all of the water out of those petroleum generators. Because we should be producing 750 grams per second extra, but we're running an extra uh, oil well, which uses 1,000 grams per second. So that's, that's interesting. Hmm. We'll see. We might have to find somewhere else to... We don't have any more Sweetle eggs. Oh, well, somebody will produce one. I guess they've... We don't have a lot of anything. Well, I suppose they weren't fed for ages, were they? 
So there is that. They weren't fed for ages. Let's go back here. Oh, hello. So one day we'll produce that. We will have to put up some lights. Should we put up some lights? Oh, I'll do it in a minute. Let's do the rocket. Can you tell that I'm a bit weirded out by the rocket and that therefore I keep trying to think of other things to distract myself with because the rocket is confusing. Uh, sink. Hang on. How is that working? There's a sink and a toilet and a carbon skimmer. But none of that is going to produce... Where are we getting clean water? Oh, is that a liquid pipe? Is that what they've brought? They've just brought liquid. Maybe? Maybe. What beeped? What beeped, game? Was it anything important? Doesn't look like it. Oh, actually, I think you need to be one further down. Um, yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, we might need help with this. I'll definitely need help with this. Neo doesn't seem to be around, which is a bit sad. Um, because obviously it's Neo's design, so that would be helpful. So, there is a carbon skimmer. Where's the carbon skimmer? There. Do, do, do. Oh, that's a water intake, isn't it? Where are you getting the water from? Like, you can't carry that much. You can't carry that many modules. So that's a gas intake. That looks like a gas. Or maybe it's a gas output. Oh, you built that? Fair enough. These rockets are complicated and I'm confused. What time is it? Okay. I tell you what, these rockets are complicated and I'm confused and I'm going to have to go in like 20 minutes. So... I think what I'm going to do is have a conversation with people. Oh, there's some more ones. Thank you, uh, Dot. Yes, I am gonna have some conversations with people in Discord either tonight or tomorrow about how this works and we'll get it built and then we can come back and do it. How does that sound like a plan? That design is not suitable for the CO2 rocket. It requires a storage water module. Yes, I thought that might be true. So we are going to come back and do this tomorrow. But first we're going to have a look at the principles. Choose a blueprint. Swamp Chard Heart. Yes. So we're going to come back to tomorrow and do that. But um, for now, what I need is some lights. Ah, you nuts. There. Hang on. Is it only the bottom tile that needs lights for the bristle berries? I think so. Where do you go to? Yeah, that's not going to do. You're going to have to have one there. Right. So we are going to have some lights in here. Um, to maybe build, grow these bristle berries at some point. Come here. Lovely. How are you getting on? This is starting to fill up with carbon dioxide. 
So we just want to shove the last bit out the top. Got a tiny stray, some tiny stray gases here that are working their way up. So yes, I'm gonna have to have more conversations and um, maybe watch some tutorials and stuff and try and understand what I'm doing with the rockets a bit better. Because my answer is, I don't know what I'm doing. So we're gonna have rockets mark two tomorrow when I try and do them again. Right, this can go on again. So you have brine and salt water in it. Now that we've built a nice thing, oh, we've got a gap. Uh, igneous, one, two, three, four. Uh, I think we might have, we might double layer it. Oh, well, we've got the, um, we've got the abyssalite underneath it for a nice double layer. So that should be fine. There you go. Oh, a raiding. Hello, um, Chef McQuinn95. So, let's have a look at what you were playing, Chef McQuinn. Oh, Annabelle brought you. How lovely. You were playing a bit of oxygen not included. Fair enough. Welcome in. I am Max. This is the Max Not Binary. We are playing some oxygen not included. We're doing a um, spaced out swamp cluster. <laughs> Pretty good last name. You can just call me Chef. Welcome in, Chef. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to your community. Thank you for sharing them with mine. We have... He was murdering innocent critters and denying us basic entertainment. I'm afraid I am only going to be around for another 15 minutes or so, because I'm off out to dinner tonight, but I can show you the base while we're about. Today we have been mostly... There was so much dirty talk. Oh my lord. Today we have mostly been breaking into this petroleum boiler to fix it again and again. Hopefully it is now functional, but I'm not entirely convinced. So um, we have to keep an eye on it. But there's been lots of breaking into a petroleum boiler, as you can tell by the quantities of sour gas that are floating about the place. As well as that, um, today we built a little tank for our salt water. And otherwise, that was mostly it, to be honest. Let me give you a base tour. Here we have the original base. Because um, we started on the swamp and there was polluted water everywhere, I wound up building this weird tower uh, for dupe living quarters when we started, because it was the only bits that weren't full of uh, manky water. Um, and then we've got this space here, which most of these critters are wild. The only critters that we're actually ranching right now are the sweetles, so that we can get um, sucrose out of them to make the grub fruit preserves. So they're the only ones that we're actually ranching. Uh, we have our little paku pit here, where they are living in, in, in happiness by themselves. Uh, last stream we built the industrial zone, which is now up and running. Um, and powered with petroleum. So that's going okay. Uh, we are filling, we're gonna fill this whole uh, block with carbon dioxide and just not worry about it. And we're also filling this with carbon dioxide. This is going to be clean plumbing. The plumbing's reasonably clean. It hasn't got too, uh, it hasn't got too terrible yet. This is going to be a sleep wheat farm. We want to make some berry sludge, so eventually we'll be able to grow bristle berries in here. We've just put up the lights, but we haven't really got the water yet. Um, and then we're going to put some sleep wheat up here. We are going to um, cool those sleep wheat with this aqua tuner here. So this aqua tuner is going to build a cooling loop for that. Uh, this one is cooling here. I don't know how it... yeah. Not fantastically. Goodbye, log. Have a lovely rest of your day. Uh, not fantastically, effectively. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. 
Um, it's entirely possible we'll need to introduce a bit more direct cooling for our carbon dioxide, uh, for our um, petroleum generators. Just finished your basic automation on farms and critters. Just saved my few dracos from starving. The meal would got too hot and I had no ice. So we've got a double draco uh, ranch over here with um, reed fibre ones on this side and plastic ones on that side. We're cooling the meal wood with our, oh hell, where is the correct overlay? Here's the correct overlay, with our oxygen. So our oxygen is all, who's deleted some of this hydrogen? I see you. Um, the oxygen is all coming out of our um, Rodriguez over here, our self-powered oxygen maker, but it is coming out exceptionally cold. This is partly because we only have um, we only have cold water sources, pretty much. We're we're using cool slush, and this one's called cool salt slush. So mostly all the water that's going in is cold, and that's radiating around the oxygen to pre-cool it. So it's coming out even of the thing at like six. We did have some like radiant pipes here past the anti-entropy thermo nullifier, uh, but that proved to be a complete waste of everybody's time. So as you can see, we're actually Annabelle. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Chef McQueen. Um, Chef, enjoy your gift sub. We now have access to a whole five emotes. Let me show you them all for you to enjoy at your leisure. That is incredibly generous of you, Annabelle. Thank you so much. So yeah, you can see that our plants are actually suffering a little bit from it being so cold in here. I mean, I have a cooling loop for the base, but... Um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't really do anything. Um, we might what I do occasionally. Uh, chat haven't seen me do this, but it has been known to happen. Is um, oh, it's not even warm. It was a bit warmer up here, and I ran it through so that I could um, max wort so that I could warm it up. But yeah, we're, we're a bit cold cold over here generally. It's quite a cold map. Um, I mean, it's less cold now that we exploded sour gas on it, but it was quite cold before that happened. Um, and we're also doing quite a lot of cooling. Oh, you've nearly, you've nearly sorted yourself out. Just get that carbon dioxide out and we can seal that up. Uh, this is a tiny cool steam vent tamer. Uh, it's only really designed to get water out, so that's not doing loads. And that's pretty much it. Then we have our second planet. Oh no, this is our rocket, which is a disaster area because I don't know what I'm doing with a rocket. Um, this is our little second planet. It's um, it's quite a little minimal four person base currently. Uh, we have a nyctophobic dupe over here who um, sleeps in the sunshine. So we have some sunshine come down into the base here and they sleep in the sunshine here. I've still so much to explore in the DLC, not even properly played around with rockets yet. I had a lava biome that wasn't sealed all the way and made so much sour gas from the oil biome. That is always upsetting. Yeah, we have made a bit of sour gas. Our oil biome down here was quite well behaved though. So this, this is where the oil that's feeding our petroleum boiler is coming from. It's actually coming from our second planet and just getting piped back through the um, the little transporters. Um, but this isn't too bad. We are filling it up with natural gas. That's not too bad. We, we need to make a little power brick here, but I haven't really bothered because we don't entirely need it. So I keep building things here, but we don't really need any of them. <laughs> so yeah, w what we do need here is I need to make some um, proper deep freeze food storage so that's that's really the highest priority task to do over here we also might send them a, an artist for a little bit 
Yes, this oil biome is lovely. The only reason I haven't swept this out is because I don't want to send it all back to the other planet. And they sweep everything just into here so that I can just set the uh, sweepers to send whatever they need back to the home planet. But we still have some digging and sorting stuff out to do over here that I haven't really bothered to do. There were some zombie spores, so what we found was there were very, very few zombie spores that uh, weren't already a vacuum. I think they were all. Um, I think they all had slicksters in. So then you just had some in the oil left over, but I slightly accidentally, but this worked quite well. I tried to come in only in vacuum bits, so I tried not to let any of the gases out. But then I accidentally let some uh, chlorine out and we'd mopped all of the crude oil that had zombie spores so it was sat there in canisters and I was like right at some point we'll just take the canisters to um, a, a decontamination. So many spore kits since the DLC. Um, what? We've run out of... Well maybe we do need to build the power brick. Apparently we're struggling a bit for power. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, but um, accidentally letting some chlorine out killed all the germs in the canisters. So I didn't really have to worry about it, which was pretty cool. Unexpected, but pretty cool. So that was nice. It was entertaining. Um... Yes, sub badge is a shine bug. We have a uh, shine bug hierarchy. As you um, subscribe for longer and longer, you get um, further and further into the evolution tree of shine bugs. So yeah, the only other thing that we've got over here really is this little sulfur tamer. I should give uh, credit to Marine, who um, gave us the design for this one. It should have a little um, thermo sensor there, but I haven't gone into space, so I haven't discovered it yet. So I can't build it. So one day we'll have to break back in here and, and do it, but so far so good. And yes, this is this is gonna be grub grubs to tend the um, grub fruits. And we're gonna keep a couple of sweetles over here just to create some sugar again for preserve. Uh, this has been what we've been working on most recently. Um, the other thing I would really like is to get them some reed fiber, but we haven't been out to the third planet yet. So what I'm trying to do is build the rocket to come out and um, do the space research, but I don't know how to do it. So, <laughs> so we've kind of given up on that for a minute <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm trying to copy people's designs without really understanding. So. That's, that's not going super well. Uh, let's deconstruct that tile there. And I'm going to put a tile in here. I'm just trying to fill this with carbon dioxide, really. And then we're going to seal this in. And I'm going to make a liquid lock somewhere else. So, yes, that's sort of where we are. Um, both bases are relatively sustainable now. They sort of potter along on their own without too much um, to do. Space is definitely the next thing, but I am overwhelmed by how complicated it is. Um, it feels way more complicated than the original space was. I mean, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just that I got used to the original space and I'm not used to this at all. Um, so we'll see how that goes. We have a little transport network. They have their suits here, they have a transport network that can come into the industrial brick and up to space. It seems the two places they're most likely to be. Trapped dupes in CO2 area, they should be able to get out the bottom. This bit is open, so they should be able to get out here. Uh, choose a, a duplicate. We are at 20 duplicates, so we have 16 here and 4 on the other planet. And I'm, I'm pretty relaxed with that being how many we're going to have um, until we maybe go somewhere else. Um, I am thinking of making some poke shell ranches 
or a poke shell ranch because we don't have any lime for steel. Ooh, we're starting to get some steam in our incredibly overfilled aqua tuna chamber. Why aren't you running? There's no way the water can be that cold. Well, I guess it is. Let's, um, we're going to make this a bit colder because it's a bit warmer than I want it to be in here. Mostly where these are. I think you can crush uh, normal eggshells to make lime. I have set that one up. We are doing fossils to lime, eggshell to lime, poke shells to lime. If I can turn it into lime, we're turning it into lime. We're also making table salt. I would like to make clear that um, the duplicates are benefiting from salted food. But yes, yeah, so I was thinking of poke shells just to increase our lime production. Um, so we might do some poke shells. We should have um, a fair bit of polluted dirt to feed them. I mean, when we go to the next planet, we could also do ethanol. Yeah, there is never enough lime. So yes, that's about where we are. We need to dig out this last bit here. I'd quite like to make this tank more sensibly shaped as well. We might do that um, at some point. Probably not when I'm on stream because I don't tend to do the really boring things when people are watching. I do the exciting things like breaking a petroleum boiler. Poke shell ranching. Yes, that is, that is what I intend to do next. Ranch some poke shells. For their lime. The main problem with poke shell ranching is that you can't drown them. So you just need to make a little corner where they have to live forever. So we'll have to do that. We'll have to, we'll have to make a little corner down here where they, they live. It is always so great to get some random lime from the printing plant though. It is, it is exciting. I do have quite a lot of paku as well. I mean, we could actually or maybe we'll do that instead. Maybe we'll do infinite paku farming. You made that same mistake of trying to drown them. I did that. I put them in, um, I had a drowning pit like this and I put them all in my drowning pit and then I came back like, I don't know, 50 cycles later and I just had all of these mad paku looking at me out of the drowning pit and I'm like, oh, uh, not paku, poke shell. And I'm like, mm, that didn't work then. Yeah, there were just like hordes of them in there glaring at me. Spaced out has really changed the game. I'm covering a decent sized room with niobium temperature shift plates now. <laughs> Amazing. What are we going to do with the temperature in here? So that's the thing to think about. But what we might do, rather than poke shell, because I was thinking if we're going to feed something polluted dirt, I'd like to feed sage hatches polluted dirt. And then my sweepers were set up where I couldn't reach them with the door closed. Oh, that's a problem. At least, like, I can lock this so the dupes kill them from on top. But yes, I was a bit weirded out by the many, many angry Paku. What are you doing in there? Um, so yeah, we might do some infinite Paku. We might set up the little infinite Paku thing and do that instead. I haven't really got a lot of algae, but I've got plenty of seeds. I mean, we're growing loads of stuff. We're going to have seeds to feed some breeders. Um, so yeah, we could do some infinite paku in here. Might do that to address our lime problems rather than do poke shells. And yes, then if um, we want then if we want to feed something polluted dirt we can use sage hatches so that we have um, some extra coal for our backup coal generators not that we need it right now we are let's have a look at yesterday we uh, wasted 7,000 kilowatts kilojoules so, you know, 
We're, we're overproducing power fairly spectacularly. Lovely. This is full. Please seal that up. Why is there... Oh, of course there's oxygen over here. Why would there not be? So we'll seal that up. I'd quite like to seal this up as well. I think I will and then I'll worry about how I get in there another day. Well, in fact, Monday. What time is it? Right, I am going to be heading off now, I'm afraid. Thank you so much for the raid, Chef, and the follow. Um, thank you, Annabelle, for leading them on over here. But um, I do have to go to dinner now, I'm afraid. <laughs> 240 tons of niobium amazing almost emily i look forward to it yes thanks so much annabelle for sharing also new oni streamers with me yes i will see you all on monday i stream between um I start between 2 and 3 p.m. GMT and we usually go, uh, British summer time it is currently, uh, and we usually go on to um, between 7 and 8, sometimes a little later, but usually it's, it's somewhere between 7 and 8 that we finish up for the day. So um, I stream Monday to Saturday. I would like to thank everyone for being here. Uh, a reminder that the biggest thing that you can do for me right now in terms of my growth as a channel is just be here literally the most important thing for me at this time is for you guys to come and watch so thank you so much for that it genuinely is the most impactful thing you can do however if you would like to support the channel you can subscribe including via prime therefore giving me jeff bezos's money and not your own by means of amazon prime or prime gaming but thank you so much for the views, for the lurking, for the chatting, for the assistance that everyone gives me all the time, especially with my petroleum boiler disasters today. Thank you, Chef, once again for the raid and Annabelle for guiding Chef here. And also Annabelle, once again, for gifting a sub to Chef. That is incredibly kind of you. I hope to see you all again on Monday. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you all then. Bye.